We all good. Cameras rolling. I don't know where to begin, so I'm just going to begin. I'd like to welcome everybody to the Facto Show with Troy Ave, a.k.a. the Notorious A.V.E. Before we set this off, I've noticed that um, a lot of people like to talk to me or talk about me. So I figured, why don't I just start my own shit? You feel me? Um, This show right here, the Facto Show, it's going to be opinions based on solely facts. If you're tired of all these people who ain't of the culture, commentating on the culture, drop a bomb right there, boom. If you're tired of all these dweebs and all these sucker clown cakes, how I'm behind a microphone saying shit that they would never say in person, drop a bomb right there, please, boom. If you're tired of all these broke-ass social media famous cop chasing motherfuckers out here gossiping more than women at head shops, drop a motherfucking bomb right there, please, boom. All these fucking hipsters. Listen, man, if you're a hipster, you unqualified to talk about some real rap shit. You unqualified to talk about some real street shit. If you ain't never been in the streets, you're unqualified to talk about anything street. I don't want to hear your fucking opinion. That's a fact. If you ain't never made no good music, I don't want to hear what you, the fuck you saying about music. That's a fact. The bad guy is back. And he's better than ever. You niggas can't stop me now. They can't shut me up. They can't do shit. That's a fact. This show right here is for the self-made. This ain't that other bum shit. This show right here is for motherfuckers that like to live in the lap of luxury. Motherfuckers that are self-made bosses or aspire to be a boss. This ain't none of that bum dirty shit. Don't even have a shape up, not wearing it with a dirty t-shirt on. This is all fly shit. That's a f- just for the people that's not uh they can't see us. It, you listening at home or in your car, wherever you at. Surrounded by marble. Statuary of marble tables. I'm drinking um I'm drinking a blackberry sidecar, freshly made. Um sipping Hennessy VSLP. All the paintings that they hang they hand painted. Um sitting on tufted, tufted, uh uh tufted sofa with the button chair. You know what I'm saying? The microphone is gold. Um just it's just a whole different type of vibe, man. I'm trying to tell you, you, you you're gonna see the difference. That's what I'm here for. This show right here, the fact though show, this is like when you got all these fake motherfuckers with this fake jewelry and shit, and they've been shining. Oh shit, we out here shining, we doing our thing. Yeah, we shining. But then a the nigga come through with the real VS, the real SI, the real shit that shit. Yo, all that cloudy shit, get that shit the fuck out of here. Oh, you con- we don't want the opinions on you corny motherfuckers. They get slapped, they get wedgie, they rape women, they wife hoes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We don't want, bum bitches can't talk about fly bitches. That's what they've been doing all the whole time. This is not, di- no, this shit is different. I'm telling you, you are now unqualified because the real is here. I'm just telling you what it is, man. God is great, my paper straight. This is an anti-hate show, de facto show. This show has opinions, but they're only based on facts. This show is free of bias, free of politics, free of dick-eating ass niggas for a liquor sponsor and a Rock Nation hat. This show is for the people and by the people. This is we against the world, Choi Ave, baby. I talk my shit because I can talk my shit because I'm qualified. You heard? I don't think, man, listen, man. I, I've seen a lot of shit that been going on out here. And I'm going to tell you exactly my point of view because a lot of motherfuckers want to hear my point of view on shit. Um, we, we living in a bizarre world. The whole shit is backwards. I said a long time ago, I'd rather be the dealer than the user. I am the dealer, not the user. I don't fuck with none of that. This ain't a junkie show when you high on pills, all that. Mo- that shit is corny. That's a fact, though. So... I said that a long time ago, and I see people start picking up on it later, but at first they try to crucify me for it. Well, let me give you another one. What we got going on now is like, I like to use analogy. So let's say you got two parties going on. One party, that party holds 100 people. That party has 10 tables. Table only. 10 bottles per table minimum. Nothing but beautiful women. Nothing but get money, niggas. This is how we living. But it's a hundred people. 
Nothing but foreigners parked outside the, the front of the um the venue. You feel me? Sparkles going. Biggest DJ in the room. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just one of that type of vibes. Trust me, I hosted these parties. I'm telling you, this is that type of vibe, right? But then what's, what we got going on is another party. It's, it's, it's down the block. That party is uh, 1,500 people. That party is uh, full of 1,500 people that are drinking beers. They're drinking uh, 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 shots of cheap liquor. Uh, what the fuck is some cheap like I, I don't fucking know what these niggas drink, man. Uh, um, um, Seagrams or some shit. They full of motherfuckers that are in dirty clothes. They not wearing. They not uh, uh dripping head to toe. They wearing dirty sneakers and and fucking glow sticks and dancing around and, and 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 being on drugs and shit. You know what I'm saying? Now mind you, that party got fifteen hundred people, but the other party got a hundred people. The world is so fucked up and the shit is so in bizarre world that motherfuckers will try to tell you that that party with the 1500 junkies is more lit than a party with the 100 with the 100 uh get money motherfuckers in there and the, and the beautiful women in there you feel me so now in turn is what happens is the people the honey get money niggas and all the all the bad bitches that's in this party Start saying, oh, we need to go to this party because there's 1,500 people in there. That shit is not lit. That shit is a facade. That shit is a facade. I'm telling you. That's what I'm here to, that's what I'm here to shed light on. Don't let these, uh, don't let motherfuckers, it, it's just like with, with a nigga selling records. Niggas say, uh, okay, this person real, this person from the street, this person make this type of music, whatever, whatever. If, if you sell, if you sell 100,000 records, right, but your records is the everybody that's relate to what you're talking about, they really, if you're talking about getting money, they really getting money. If you're talking about being fly, they really getting fly. If you're talking about being successful, ownership, they really doing that, right? And you sell 100,000 of those records. But then you got another artist who, he might sell a million records, but he's selling... 950,000 of those records are the bums. Are the bums that got 999 to buy a CD. They ain't doing nothing with their life. They come like like let me let me let me ask you the question. Let me ask you the question. Does that make that person bigger than the other person? We in bizarre world, y'all. And that's why Choi have to shed light on this motherfucking situation, man. Um with that said, we'll touch on that more. First topic we're gonna talk about is outside opening up. You motherfuckers thought shit was about to be sweet, huh? You thought you was gonna be outside in sundresses, and um, you niggas thought you was gonna be on your motorcycles. Cause we know niggas with the motorcycles don't be really having no farms. It's very, it's very, very rare. Like it's like a it's like a it's like a 8.5 to 10 ratio. If a nigga got a motorcycle, he ain't got no farm, man. So you niggas, oh, summer's the time. Vroom, vroom, vroom on a white tee. You thought that was going to happen. Yeah, it's not. It, that's it. You're done. Not happening right now, man. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. It's the government. This corona shit is real. This is 2020. And I feel like it's the time to have 2020 vision. You see shit more clearer. And the way I see it is the world is stuck in um, a lot of vanity and shit. A lot of vain shit. Now, don't get me wrong. I like I like nice shit probably more than the, than the, than the next man. But that ain't what makes me. That ain't what that that's not what I what I'm 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 me without all that. Fact though. You feel me? I'm me with a with a uh with a backwards Yankee hat. It don't gotta be a Gucci hat. You feel me? A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all niggas don't feel like yourself without wearing a bunch of jewelry. Without uh posting everything you do as a picture. A lot of y'all women don't feel like yourself without Having your extendo eyelashes on and, and a face full of makeup and shit. That shit is cool. It's a time and a place for everything. But that shit should not be a part of your life, period. So now you got us. Look, I'm I'm one of them. Got niggas running around with no haircut, scruffy bear, wolfing. Um, you got um you got the chicks out here looking like who the fuck done it. You know what I'm saying? This nigga, crazy out here. Nails undone, all kind of all kind of shit like that. And we need to be humbled. And what I learned 
the first hand experience, you know what I'm saying? If you don't humble yourself, God will humble you. You feel me? So now you gotta have that internal humble switch. So now a lot of motherfuckers out here crying, broke, and shit like that. Nigga, you need to reflect. You need to look at shit from the point of if a couple of little months of you being out of work got you broke as fuck, then your life ain't right. You ain't on the right track. I'm I'm telling you, nigga, this is what it is. You could take this. That's a fact, though. It, that's a fact. You the, the rule of thumb is you're supposed to have three months of income around waiting. I'm going to tell you a funny story. I'm going to tell you a funny motherfucking story. So I had this I had this girl. Um, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't tell that. I should tell it. All right, Brown Side should tell. So I had this girl, man. This girl, she um, you know, she was in in a video, whatever, whatever, cool. So, you know, I was like, yo, you know, I'm a, I'm gonna get her for a video and shit like that. Um, she started acting busy and and whatnot, and oh yeah, no, um, then then she really told me what the real shit was, cause I was like, yo, I need you for these certain scenes. And she was like, Well, I got a boyfriend now and I don't think that'd be okay and okay on the shit. So all right, cool. Fuck it. Cool. Well, I, don't, I don't care about none of that shit you talking about. You got a boyfriend now, whatever. So long story long. Um, she ends up, she ends up, um, I end up shooting a video. She ended up calling me. She, oh, hey. You know, she hit me with the, hey, babe. What's up, love? All that kind of shit like that. Like, bitch, please. What are you doing? Fuck you talk to me like that, man. I don't care about none of that shit. Hey babe, so I need to know, um, hey, are you still shooting those skits? I'm like, skits, I reply back. You mean videos? He said, like, yeah. I say, yeah, I shot them already. Um, oh, how many did you shoot? I shot about two or three of them. Now mind you, before we did this, like I show love. I told her, I say, yo, listen, um, I'ma put you in. Mad videos. I'm going to shoot like four videos. I seen you wasn't outside running around. I, you got to pick and choose who you're around. So like I was talking to her for a few days. She wasn't in the street. She was keeping it held up in the crib. Cool. I, I felt comfortable enough, you know, to pick out the... Maybe she's the least likely to have the fucking corona. Because I can't get corona. I'm not like another nigga, man. If I get corona, the fuck, the fuck up the money, man. So... Now I say, yo, listen, I'm going to book you for four joints in a row. I don't want to get a bunch of different girls. I'm going to just book you for four joints in a row, and we going to rock out. So um, first she was like, cool. And when I, I hit her, hey, yo, I'm going I'm to do this shit this day. I'll slide down to New York, whatever. She was kind of hitting me back late. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck is you hitting? Nigga, I'm hitting you for a job. You better act like there's a white man calling you back about your food stamps. The fuck you mean? Fuck out of here. Hit me immediately. So hit me back late. Oh, what are we doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, I, there's a thousand views. There's only one of me. If I sound bad saying it, it's just the truth, man. Shout out to Kanye. He said it first. So, um, anyway. So now fast forward to me. I, I'm the type of person, and you should be too. If, this, if you hear the sound of my voice, don't ever wait for nobody to do shit. Because all motherfuckers would do is hold you up. That's what, that's what people like to do. They like to hold you up and hinder your success. Always. At least with my experiences with people. So I don't wait for nobody. I just do my thing and get shit done. So anyway, um, fast forward, she calls me. Hey, did you, um, you still doing the skits? I say, you mean video? She said, oh, yeah. Cool. Um, I, uh, How many did you do? I, I did like three. How many you got left? Probably like one or two. Oh, I want to do all of them. You want to do what? Yeah, I want to. I want to do all of them. Um, so now me, you know, me being the the motherfucking, um, I don't want to say I'm a petty ass nigga, but you know, I like I'm a reflection. I'm a mirror. I like to treat people how they treat me. So I wanted to say, I wanted to say and tell me if I'm wrong, bro. I wanted to be like, the fuck you mean? What happened to you? All this shit where you had a boyfriend and you don't think it's appropriate and all that shit. But I say, you know what? Let me see where this goes. I wanted to say that. And usually I just do what the fuck I want. But you know, it's quarantine, I'm in the crib, chilling, relaxing. So let me take, let me, let me just vibe. So I say, um, all right, you wanna you wanna do two of the videos? All right, no problem. Cool. Um, she said, Well, when when you shoot them? I said, maybe I'll do something this week. She says, Oh, okay, bet. Then she hit me back. Hey, um, do you think you can send me um some of the money? 
I don't know how much of I don't know how much she was gonna send me. I think she asked me for like six hundred dollars or something. And she like, yeah, and then just take it out of whatever you was gonna give me for the videos and shit. And I'm like, what? What? What the fuck? Yeah, cause times are times are hard now. I ain't been working and the bitch you wasn't working from the beginning. But your dumb ass didn't plan ahead. And then you wait, you was feeling yourself. This is what I be talking about. This is how people be. Like me, I'm the same way. Whether I got $10 or $10 million, I'm the same way. I treat people the same way. These people be riding on the high horse when they think, oh, yeah, this shit is lit and whatever. But they're not, they're not ready for shit, shit going to get bad in a while. And then guess what? You're going to have to come back with your fucking hand out. So now she said, you think I can send some, can you send me some money, cash app? To, you know, my reply would hell fucking no. That's a fact. What am I, a sucker? <laughs> when he's out definitely not. Nah, you know what? I'll give you the money when I see you. Oh, and then she blowing me up. Hey, when you think you come, when you think, you know what, bitch? Now you stay waiting. How about you call your fucking bum ass boyfriend who you just got when he's stupid? Ladies, please, if you're listening to the sound of my voice, do not be the dumb idiot that always fall in love with these niggas, man. These niggas ain't shit. Put them through a test before you fall in love with these niggas, man. These niggas ain't doing nothing for you. Trust that. Not that a nigga need to take care of everything, but you got to ask these niggas, nigga, what are you bringing to the table? Besides some dick in a conversation. That's a fact. Same way we got to ask these women, what are you bringing to the table? Besides some pussy in the conversation. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. That's a fact. Man, I had a girl tell me about what... What other niggas in the past had done for her? And then I I, I looked around and said, well, okay. Well, all these niggas did this shit for you. Well, where's where's the um, lasting effects of it? So what do you mean? Okay, what what do you have other than a bag? What do you have other than um some shoes? What the fuck do you have other than a piece of jewelry? What do you have that is an asset? She looked at me with the stupid faces because it wasn't a motherfucking thing. That's a fact. I said, listen, baby, let me show you how I roll. I'm the type of nigga that you get the money with, not from. I'm not one of these corny niggas where I'm taking my shit when we leave or whatever. How about you be smart? Let's start a business. And then even if we do break up, we can still continue to get money together. We can still continue to be successful together. But no, motherfuckers get caught up in their emotion. Fast uh, track back to this story that I'm talking about. This little silly heifer was all caught up in her emotion with some stupid, silly nigga, right? Some stupid bum nigga. Right? I'm telling you, some stupid bum nigga that here's the signs of a bum nigga. They always at your motherfucking house because they don't got no house of their own. That's a fact. They always taking a fucking Uber because they don't have no fucking car. That's a fact. They always trying to spend money on dumb shit. Weed. Um, uh, uh, Fucking Balenciagas. <laughs> fucking. What'd you say, bro? Who? Oh, Jordan? Oh, Jordan's without a doubt. Woof, what? Jordan's without a doubt. These niggas paid the last dance. <laughs> what? These niggas, Jordan's without a doubt. That's the sound of a bum ass nigga, man. I'm telling you, dog. You you know what, ladies? You want to see if you wear the nigga that count about something? Here's what you do. You take him out. See what the fuck he ordered from restaurant. You take that nigga out, man. But. Anyway, so now she had still dick with ties over this nigga. Now, mind you, I already had killed. I already had killed. But that's the type of nigga I am. Just because I killed, and then, you know, we ain't, like, it wasn't, I don't ever lie to women. I don't ever be like, yo, baby, we're going to be together. It's going to be like that. Like, we going to kill. Um, if I kill, we just going to be cool. We'll be friends. Would you need something for me? Then cool, whatever. Like, I ain't going to just off and act funny one day when I get a girl. I'm going to be still be like, all right, what's up? I got some business we could do. Let's do it. Boom, boom, boom. But mind you, this fucking little airhead, she got a boyfriend, and the nigga wasn't worth two nickels, and now she tried to change up her whole demeanor towards me. Many people been through this. Many, many, many niggas been through this. You don't, don't ever change up on somebody. Don't ever keep it fake with a real one. So anyway, long story long, God bless the dead Butch Lewis. He taught me that. <laughs> Excuse me. And Blackberry sidecars hit me. Long story long, she's not getting shit. And her bills better get paid by that bum ass nigga. And all that could have been avoided. She could have got the bag. I'd have gave her the bag up front. I'd have, you asked me for $600, yo, hey, I'd have gave you fucking $3,000 up front. 
Hey, here you go, girl. Don't worry about it. We just we gonna shoot like four to five videos. Don't worry about it, huh? Just take the money and I'll see you when I see you. But it, because at that point, I'm like, all right, you was cool. This is how we was. This is how we was. I, I'm never gonna change. I don't switch up. But at the point where you switched up on me, then you showed me, okay, you're a different person. So the moral of this story is you have to be a mirror. When somebody shows you who you are, who they are, you believe them. You treat them as such. You don't go keep treating them nice. You don't keep treating them with a level of respect. Fuck them. Fuck people. People try to take advantage of you all the time. I'm t- I am promise you, if you're listening to the sound of my voice, please take heed to what I'm saying. People pay me for this advice. Who the fuck? Ma'am, I'm, I'm, hello? I'm, hold on, hold on, ma'am, hold on, ma'am, hold on, hold on. I'm, leave, leave recording. It stopped? Oh, start back. Start back. That shit is still running? Yeah. Is it? It's on 30-something, right? Oh, ma'am, I'm sitting here recording. What? We, we supposed to do this actual ad, but I'm still talking to the people and shit. What's up? You live, so don't say nothing crazy, because we not editing shit. The fact of show was just rolling and cut. What did you have to say to me? I said that I am ready to get on and ask the questions that the people want to know. Okay, that's fine. Let me just, you know what? Stay here. I want to. It's, it's a couple of things that I need to know whether I was going to talk about or pass. But um, you know what? Let's just fucking do it. Fuck it. Let's tap in. We got Reby on the line. We gonna do an Ask Troy Ave segment real quick. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, I like to give I like to give my insight and my advice to the people um, on some things that they might wanna wanna know. I feel like we should save this to the later on in the show, but I mean, we we just trying this shit out. This is what this is one thing that I always I always advise people to do. Man, just go ahead and do it. I'm treating this. I'm treating this uh, television uh, uh, talk show podcast shit like I did my first mixtape. I just went and did it. I was trying to get on these mixtape DJ shit. Yo, could you get me on? Get me on. Nigga, tell me fifteen hundred dollars, twelve hundred dollars, some dumb shit. I said, nigga, twelve hundred dollars eat a dick. Eat twelve hundred dollars worth of dick. Whatever the fuck I told him. And I took that same money. That ass. Uh, nigga, if I took that same money and I put out my own mixtape. You feel me? And I went and sold my shit hand in hand. And and now wherever the fuck that DJ, I remember years later he tried to get me to get on uh one of his mixes. I did the drop for him. He said, no problem, man. I will do the drop for you. I ain't even remind him. Like, Yo, remember that time I called you? But anyway, don't ever shit on people, man. So, like I said, this is how we doing this. We just going later on. This should have probably be down. Matter of fact, since I got you on the phone. I want to run through some topics because we got a couple topics and I don't know if we was going to stick with it or, or pass on it. Um, They say Tyra, Tyra Banks got fucked over because or they dragged her because she was shitting on some girl, talking about the girl sounding like a, a prostitute or some shit like that. And then the girl was crying and all kind of shit. Did, oh. we, did we give a fuck about that? What What is that about? I don't think that's really. I I don't like when people sit and um and like go hard on people's looks, especially man. I remember we was on live and this girl was saying that yo people on here dick riding. I'm like whoa 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 don't don't say none of don't. I said who you talking about um um who who's dick riding? You talking about they dick riding you or they dick riding me? They dick riding you. They dick riding me. That's what she she said. Whoa 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 whoa. Don't call none of my people dick riding for showing love and support. How about, it's all about perspective. How about niggas call you a dick rider because you on this motherfucker every night. You here trying to uh, talk and get heard. How about they could call you a dick rider? So don't, don't do, I can't stand people like that. Uh, do that trying to criticize motherfuckers. Nobody say, oh, what if motherfucker want to say, hey, Tyra, you, you a fucking, uh, a stupid tall bitch with big feet. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like they, like they could, like they could say. I feel like you shouldn't be criticizing people on that. But if, if she was doing it to, uh, make them feel like, hey, this is what you got to get ready for, then cool, I, I understand that. But you never, un- never get it fucked up. You always look like some something to somebody. I don't like chicks with big ass foreheads. You know what I'm saying? She got a big ass forehead. So why are you gonna talk about a girl with a, a gap teeth and all kind of? What the fuck do that mean? 
I think that's whack shit. And on the fact of show, we talk about everything that we think is whack, and we don't give no fucks about it. Straight up, because what they gonna do to me, Ribby? I got, I make my, I, I cut my own check. You feel me? Who gonna check me? I write the check. Um. All right, let's let's do the ass show, ass shit. Brand, we still good? All right. So, Melanie. And what is a valuable lesson do you hope to teach your kids one day? A valuable lesson that I hope to keep teach my kids one day. Um, shit, I hope I'm teaching them that right now because um, the, the time to start is now. I got a four year old and a five year old. Um, so, what is one valuable lesson that you hope they really register and, and sticks with them that you may be teaching them right now? I, I that think you want to go. I want to say be. Be self self sufficient, self reliant. Don't don't depend on nobody. Get mm-hmm. get the job done, no matter what. Get the job done, no matter okay. what. And you know what I'm saying? Don't so don't depend on people. Kids, um, it was my personal question. These questions are going fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. You got to give the questions time to breathe. You got to ask the questions. <laughs> I mean, this how this how this how I see them do it. You got to ask the question, give it time to breathe. Let nigga answer the question. And then go. I feel like I'm in a hot seat. These questions are rapid. All right. How long is our segment? How long is our extra? I have a loan. The fuck we want to make it. It doesn't matter. Hold on. Let me cut the commercial real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Let me cut the commercial real quick. Okay. This episode of uh, Fact the Facto Show. Sorry, I messed up. But it doesn't matter. This episode of the Facto Show is brought to you by GIGPS brand. God is great. Paperstraight.com. If you tuned in, you can get 20% off. Just type in code The Facto Show, T H E F A C T O Show. Um, and then you're good to go. Like I said, this episode of The Facto Show is sponsored by God is Great Paper Straight.com. Stay fresh and stay blessed in that G I G P S, baby. We rolling. Okay. Okay. Um, hold on. That joint, that joint at Dobrin, you could, um, you gotta pull it. No, we leave, leave that right there. And then let's pull the extension cord. Watch out, watch out for this other shit. Just pull just pull that extension cord a little as close as it could get. Yeah, exactly. And then see if it reaches. We still got the other cameras rolling, so we good. But let's just turn that one back on. I hope that should save that video. Oh no, no, you cannot move that. You can't move it. Put it back up. You know where the where the joint is at? Or can it reach, or do you need to pull the extension cord out more? <laughs> uh, we gonna keep rolling, and then you remember the position of that camera, so you could just load it back up, right? All right. All right. So, come on, Ruby, let's get to it. Let's, All right. let's be mad careful with that. I'm listening. What age does a kid decide which parent he or she wants to live with? What age? Um, it depends, man. It it really depends on like the maturity of the kid and and then which parent they living with. Cause I feel like I feel like I feel like boys need their father and, and girls need their mother at, at certain ages. You know what I'm saying? So like, it ain't no real way to be exact and tell. Go with that. Um. So what? What type of um? It, it depends. I need more details on the situation. Oh well, just in general, because the thing is, sometimes when the kid is really, really young and they're going through the court, the court always bring the kid. And you know, I've seen it on TV, three years old, five years old, and ask them which you know which parent do they want to live with. And um, you know, um, with the question that I have, it's more like if um. No courts involved, and right. both of the parents are good parents, but of course, everybody parents differently. Right, right. So one house is more um, structured and peaceful, and the other house is more um, rambunctious. But um, you know, it's a loving oh. um, environment. Also, are we dealing with a boy so, child or a girl child? A girl child um, <coughs> just turned um, just turned thirteen, so a, a new um, a right new teenager. a new teen. All right, I'm going to tell you off the rip. Uh, ob- obviously, um, unless you're in one of them LGBT relationships, obviously the um, 
the you, we talking about the father. So I think a girl at 13, at this point in time, they definitely need to be in the mother's household if there's if that's the only option. Because you 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 look at like that they just turning teenagers. These years from 13 to 16 is where a lot of shit happens. You know what I'm saying? It's like you become a whole new person. And then more importantly, nigga, nigga must you've been there before. I don't care what no no man say, what no niggas say. Like, just like I don't care what a mother says. Can't know my kid's mother don't know she ain't been through the stuff that my sons are gonna go through. You feel me? She can nurture them and raise them and all kinds of shit. And just like no man ain't been through stuff that your your daughter will go through. You feel me? So you can see, okay, well, you could you could prevent a lot of this shit that may happen. A lot of shit that's going to come in front of her, you could pre- prevent it before it even happened. You know what I'm saying? Because you done seen yeah. it already. All right, let me ask you this. Okay, so that's clearly the obvious, but what about the mental state of the child? Like, would you want um, your child with you, if she has, you know, another option, and she just hate, you know what I'm saying? She, she just is not enjoying her environment, and you know, she is she not in, child- is she not enjoying her environment for real reasons or for kid reasons? Like, oh, it's boring. For kid reasons. Yeah, Come on, boring. man. That's like, uh, I, I don't think kids need to have no option. That's why they. That's why they kids, and that's why we're parents. But, they don't but need. What about the, he's the only child? Like, what about... That ain't no syndrome. I was the only child for mad long. What that mean? That mean, shit, that mean you get more. <laughs> you get all kind of shit. What does that... that man, let's not fall into these these things that these people try to put on us. Only child syndrome. Okay. Ain't never... That's a... That, that shit, that's... You getting extras. You getting extras. <laughs> only child syndrome. I'm pretty sure y'all living in a, 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 a nice house, a nice environment. You know what I'm saying? And... Just all kind of shit that she'll appreciate later on when she get older. You feel me? Okay. So I think absolutely, positively, you do not let no young girl... Like, what? what's the environment like at the other place? Um, the other playing? environment, Is it um, even charging? you know, you have your... Um, it's it's a really... Um, it's a family type environment because there's more people. There's a lot of siblings. Um, it's, it's a lot of... Um, um, Kids, right. and also it is. It is. Um, I would say dysfunctional. As far as like what, like what? How old are the kids? Like what are the kids um, doing? Is it siblings there? Is it? Well, um, I, I wouldn't say that it was the ideal, perfect um, environment for a kid to be just um, a right. Harvard graduate or something like that. Or do do do? Um, does she have siblings there? Yeah, she has siblings there. How she old has, are the siblings? Uh, the, 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 sibling, the oldest sibling is like probably like 21 and he has his um his girl, living girlfriend probably like 20 and they have a little baby that's probably one year old and then she has the uh, a little sister that's probably like eight years old and um I think that the father is, you know, a tad bit immature. Um, but I, they do love each other. I think I think of I think of the rip that's unacceptable because just for the simple fact of the um we got just for the simple fact of the example as being set. Um, we all been through that. I've been through that when I was a kid too. I used to want to hang out in the projects and do all kind of shit. Not that that environment that that you know, not that they're living in the projects or whatever, whatever. But I said that to say. It has that type of same environment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no like, structure. No structure. It, exactly. It's fun. They don't have to be hanging outside and doing a bunch of shit, but that shit is inside the house. You got, you got, I'm pretty sure if the, if the boys are, if, if her brothers are 21 and 19, whatever, then now you got teenage pregnancy in the play. You know what I'm saying? Your daughter just became a teenage, a teenager. She don't, you don't never want her seeing that and thinking, Okay, this is cool. This is acceptable. Whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go on and be better than me. That's that's what that's what I just finished telling my my um my little sister this earlier. I'm like, yo, listen. I'm telling her some stuff about real estate and buying properties and not waiting. And I'm like, yo, listen. I didn't went through all the mistakes and, and did all the child and error so that now you got a head start because you can skip all the shit that I didn't get. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like definitely. If they got 
kids in there because kids look up to older kids no matter what, unless they like super lame. So now they'll just be doing older people shit. They might be okay. smoking some weed, might right. be dressing sexy, might be doing shit that it ain't for a 13 year old, no matter what the fuck right. this new world and society is showing us and telling us. You feel me? That ain't, it just ain't right. And um, right. they'll adapt to that thinking is cooling, and you grow up fast, and it's kind of fucked up growing up fast. There ain't no way to. I remember, exactly. you feel me? And and we don't work hard, and we don't work hard for our kids to have to grow up fast, like us. Right. I feel like if your kids is growing up fast, then you kind of feeling as a parent, because it's only, mm-hmm. a kid need to be a kid, no matter what mm-hmm. the fuck the kids say. Exactly, because they're innocent. Exactly, and just even so they could do things in a, and you could pace yourself. Niggas say life is short. That's not true. <laughs> Pace your motherfucking self. You don't want to burn. You don't want to burn out. You don't want to make no mistakes because you still got a kid mind and you do some shit. You feel me? And I just think that that she you don't want she don't want to be so advanced. That's like that's like somebody being that's the equivalent from being thirteen to seeing twenty olds is the equivalent of being. I'll put this in a in like an older age perspective. It's like if you were fucking. A, a 30 year old man and you seeing some niggas that's 55 and they talking about, yeah, man, you need to settle down and do all this shit like that. Like, nigga, no the fuck you don't. No the fuck right. you don't. But right. but you feel me? But they and they advanced shit that they already went through shit. So, like, that would be probably a, a, a good positive thing. Yeah, you need to settle down. But now, these 20 year olds, what they're saying indirectly without saying it is, yeah, girl, you need to drink 1942 and yeah, girl, you need to have a baby, and yeah, girl, you need to fucking have your baby daddy and not be married, and no kind, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. You need to even down to the point of you seeing like, yeah, I'm fucking, uh, uh, I'm in my twenties, but I'm I'm living with my fucking moms with my with my kid in the house type exactly. shit. Exactly. Okay. And right. that and that ain't no examples. That ain't no example that that we need to be setting if we got control over it. You feel me? So I say absolutely, positively, no. If she kicking, dragging, and screaming, whatever, at least till you get 16. At least till you get 16. Because you're a different person from 13 to 16. And that older influence could could fucking influence you to a wrong path. And no matter what a man say, a man ain't going to catch everything. Because as men, I'm going to be honest, we don't pay attention to all the shit that women, that just women do. Young women, older women, whatever. We don't pay attention to it. Just being 100. So I think you definitely got to do... You got to uh, pull, pull rank as a mom. If it was a boy, I'd say, yeah, let him let him go live with his dad. Fuck it. Let him see what it's about. Either it's going to be better or worse. Either he going to go there and he going to flourish and he going to love you for it or he going to come back kicking and screaming, Mom, I want to come back. I hate it here. It's not what I thought. It's it's not. You know what I'm saying? They don't. I don't get mad hot meals a day. Everybody got fin for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. But I say definitely Um, that's it. You just got to you just got to be the, the tough Fucked up one in this situation where you're going to be... At this point, listen, I'm not your friend. I'm your mom. I'm, that's it. Right now. And you'll, get over, and you'll get over it. And you'll appreciate it in the long run. When you see the other little 13-year-old girls that uh, you grew up with go down the wrong path. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. Okay. So that leads me to my next question. Um, we do not know who um, had... Uh, gave us this question, but they said, what could the kids learn from the 6 9 situation? And these are all questions from when, what we going to start doing, y'all, just for the people listening, follow me on um, Instagram, at Troy Ave. Um, What we going to do is I'm going to post up, hey, yo, I'm about to go, we about to go live on the Facto show. Y'all post up something and um, y'all ask me your questions, whatever, whatever you want to know. So she's reading these questions from these people. We we were supposed to say your name and then go do whatever, but not right now. Yeah, it was just a good question. I think they went back and maybe I, I don't know what happened to this person. I got ten more. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Um, say you said something about what what could the kids learn from the six nine situation? Yeah. Hmm. What the fuck could they learn? I was him. <laughs> what the fuck could they learn? <laughs> or choose your yeah. wisely, right? Streets is a myth. <laughs> streets is a myth. That's a fact. Fuck that, man. I hope my kids ain't never in no motherfucking streets. That's a fact. Streets is a myth. Right. Joy, I got a song. 
I got a song called Streets is a Myth. That's you can learn from. Go check that shit out. Streets is a Myth. Straight up. Mm-hmm. The, the, you can learn rap shit. The rap is a myth. All, all this shit. Man, they, they really, niggas really ain't gonna learn shit. It's gonna be more cutthroat, more whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You tell me you can tell on the whole gang and then you and then you come home and you talk about flexing and all kind of shit. And there's nothing. Like, what's really what's really gonna happen? We're we're touching that shit more, but I don't think I don't know what the, the, the kids can learn. If I really wanna sit here and bust my brain about it, I could well, say what I they can learn. But. Just learn just, you know, to come be careful of the company you keep. Mm, I don't know if that's <laughs> I don't know if that's no, really no. it. I don't know if that's really okay. it. Straight up, it's like uh-huh. the same shit. Make you laugh, make you cry. The right, big ass pimple on my good. head. Yes, that, that was good. I, I think that that's that, 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 that. Okay, so um, moving right along. How um, this question is from Lisa. Is Lisa life is Lisa? How yeah. can we all be sane? How can sane? we all? Yeah. How can we all be sane when everything falls apart? I can't hear you with your accent. You say, how can we all keep saying our earth and fall apart? <laughs> Fucking. Life, Lisa. How can we all keep sane when everything falls apart? As far as what? Like, the world? Um, I was, you can talk, man. You can shout shit out, too. Talking, yeah, yeah. Maybe she's talking about the COVID-19. Um, uh, I don't know. Hold on. This, this motherfucking jacket got me heat. Yeah, I'm hot now. I feel like I'm falling apart this motherfucker, man. <laughs> Um, you feel me? <laughs> it's a Valentino camel, not a vape. <laughs> Yo, um, I think, man, I think you just got to pray. On, you got to pray, man. I, I pray a lot. I I pray and I just, I, you could work out. Some people smoke, do jobs. I ain't really like much for the, for the jobs. Um, I think you just got to be strong mentally. It ain't no other way. Fuck, you ain't got no, you ain't got no other way. You could be strong, you could not be strong. It's like either black and white. What you gonna do? You gonna fold? You gonna kill yourself? Or you gonna live and you gonna flourish? What you gonna do? Period. The choice is yours. That's how I feel. I'm not really like one of these. Uh, and and I and it kind of messed up a relationship that I had because I'm not like a a sit in and and tell you oh everything is gonna be all right. I'm like yo, this is the problem. Let's solve the problem and done and move on to the next. I don't have no time for that type of shit. I feel like that shit is weakness. And you know it's cool for some people to be weak, but I don't promote weakness. And they ain't, we ain't going to promote no weak weak shit on this show. We promote strength. We promote <laughs> we promote strength mentally, physically, if you if, if need be. And niggas different. It's just do your thing. In fact, though, what's up? What's, what's the next question, please? All right. This question is from North Face 20. How did you move on from a fair relationship where you lost a real woman after treating her wrong? She's moved on, but you can't seem to move on. How do you move on from a fair relationship when you lost a real woman after treating her wrong? She's moved on, but you can't seem to move on. Nigga, first of all, you need to go in the bathroom, unbuckle your pants, and check to see if you have a dick. Oh you feel me? God. Oh, you acting like a bitch. That's a fact. Oh my God. That's a fact. What the fuck you mean? How you just move on? You know how you move on? <laughs> fucking Tinder. Fucking plenty of fish. Fucking IG DMs. What the fuck are these niggas talking about, man? I can't. What the fuck all this emotional shit? You feel me? The club. You feel me? Like, there's all kind of ways to move. What the fuck you mean? How do you move on when you lost a real... You fuck that package up. <laughs> you fuck that package up. Now, that's it. This nigga is fucked up. You can't be mad at you. You fuck the package up. Nigga fucking talk about how do you move on easily, nigga. You just fucking move on. You don't have no choice. I don't have no time for no emotional shit. This nigga's crazy. Hold on. We got to cut the commercial real quick. Cut the commercial. Okay. This episode of the Facto Show with Troy Av is sponsored by GodIsGreatPaperStraight.com. Make sure you go check it out. GodIsGreatPaperStraight.com. For all the um, fly fashion, stay blessed and stay fresh in GIGPS. Um, you get 20% off if you use the code The Facto Show at any of your purchase. Powder.
Okay, we back with Reby. We doing the act show. I have questions and all that. Um, Reby, let's let's talk about it. what's the next question, please. Hold on, I'm trying. I'm trying to take off my jacket while I'm doing this shit, and I'm trying to take off my jacket while I'm, I feel like I'm on stage performing. And you trying to take off your shit before the next hook come or some shit? You know what I'm saying? It's like a, I can't time it because this shit is tight on the wrist. It's fucking me up. <laughs> It's not a tight jacket. It's just tight on the wrist. I got a hoodie on under it. So, but go ahead. That means you have big hands. Then you have big, fat, um, bare paw hands. No, I got a big, fat diamond ring on my motherfucking hands. <laughs> That's about it. I don't know what you talking about. Oh, let me stand up and take this shit off. Usually you're not supposed to get out of the camera, but... Uh, I can Are you going to take it off over your head? Are you going to pull it over your head? Nah, nah, nah. You crazy. Just taking this motherfucker over right here. Yeah, I am good. All right, so I shouldn't be eating great by reading questions, right? You could. It's the fact though, show. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Listen, I'm brushing my hair. <laughs> I'm brushing my hair while we doing this shit. Oh, so, it's a nice hoodie, ain't it? Hold on, let me hold on. You know, you know, our shit is ghetto, so we gotta put this. We gotta put the phone up to the. We gotta put the phone up to the microphone. <laughs> Go ahead with the, wait, whatever. Go All ahead. Right, what's, so, Mister Adara, some mm -hmm. advice. Everybody's emotional today. He said, "What are some of your remedies to get over a girl?" Get under a new one. <laughs> get over a new one. Yeah. Get a new one. Okay. Everything ends right. in new one. At least some remedy. <laughs> yeah, I'm going I'm to be honest with you. It's only one time in my life that I had to get over a girl, and that was my first girlfriend. She broke my heart. She, she fucked me up, and she made me the terrible savage that you women have to deal with today. You have her to blame. Her name is Kelsey Pierce. Shout out to Kelsey. She 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 fucked me over. She cheated on me in high school, man. Like, what type of fucking whole shit is that? How you cheat in high school, dog? We 15 years old. How you fucking niggas in high school? This is crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? That I just found out about it. I had just left high school. I I left the school. The fuck? I still had my motherfucking uh Metro card or, or I still had my fucking school ID. The shit wasn't even shit wasn't even expired yet. <laughs> You feel me? They ain't even get my seat away in the class. I got kicked out of school, and she cheated. I said, damn, you dirty, no good bitch. But, but do you think that that's giving a person too much satisfaction for them to shake you like that? That feels like the no, no, not at all. Is. Not at all. I actually thank her for it. I actually thank her for it. I ain't going to hold you. It, it made me a better person. It put me on point, and it made me, you know, I, I feel good about all it. Right, well, Mo most men. Whoa, is this is this is this Ash or is this Ash Reeve? Because I can't get a word in edgewise. What type of shit is this? I can't get a motherfucking word in. So like I was saying, the girl, the, the most people get their heart broke. As far as men, I can't say about women. Women get their heart broke over and over again. But as far as men, you gonna even get your heart broke when you mad young or when you older. And it's better that it happens when you're young because most times if it happens when you are older. Then it's your fucking wife and she fucking the pool guy or the co-worker. And then there's kids involved and money. And it hurts you more financially to get fucked over. So that's a double fuck over. You know what I'm saying? So I, I actually thank her for that. Shout out to her. And I always thank her for that. I, we, we, we speaking shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say what she looks like. But she's... <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, she fucked up package up. She like old oh boy that asked the question earlier. Cause I'm loyal. She could have just stayed with me. I, I could have been like one of these fucking NBA niggas that got the fucking uh they got the baby moms from high school before they leveled up and shit. You know what I'm saying? You be like, whoa, oh, that God. bitch don't match his uh she don't she don't match his bank account. What the fuck going on? Yeah. Or a tax bracket. Okay. Mm, she don't match Ooh. tax bracket. Come on, let's Let's run through these questions. All right. Prezi Plain Jane asks, what are the first three things an artist or an entrepreneur should invest in once they sign a record deal or start receiving regular in income independently? The first three things you should get 
I don't know if I'm going to answer you, sell you three, but I know you should definitely get you a studio. Studio is mandatory because you develop faster and you're not serious about your craft if you don't have a studio in your house or anywhere you live. That shit could be in your fucking bedroom. You need a studio. Um, Second is invest in yourself. <laughs> no matter what, you spend your money on yourself. Um, And the third, I don't know. And to be honest, I don't feel like thinking about it right now because I'm not on no music shit right now. I'm on All right, perfect. So, <laughs> feel me? I ain't know this ain't the fucking music show. This ain't music choice. Uh, what the fuck is so let's fuck going on? Down. I got a gold microphone in this motherfucker. I look like fucking. All right, so we know you always. Better dig Luther Vandross up and ask him about some music. Yeah. What the fuck you mean? I feel like singing. Right, which, leads me, which leads me to the question about. I feel like guys. singing right now. Can I just sing because I feel like singing? What you think, bro? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. What song should I sing? I don't want to sing nothing as... I'll sing my song. Psst. Um, She belongs to the game. She belongs to the fame. She ain't wrong. Who's to blame? She the one fools can change. Love your man, girl. Don't fall for me. Even though we fucking, I can never give you all of me. No, no. Love your man, girl, don't fall for me Even though we fucking, I can never give you all of me No, 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 no I can't snap, no, no, there we go, Hey, No, 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 oh, oh, oh. Don't use auto I don't use no other tune. Thing. I like I like keep it real, man. I like just keep it real. I like keep it real, okay. baby. I like keep everything real. Keep everything mm-hmm. real. No, 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 no. All right, but yeah, so yeah. Do we have a commercial before we go to the next question? No, we ain't got no commercial. We ain't got no commercial. We just okay, rolling. Perfect. Okay. So, video dash. That how I, did you? Come I think with we supposed to do a shoe cam, but the shoe cam because we got that on our list. We want to do like shoe cams and shit. As a matter of fact. You know what we could do? Right now, we could cut to... We gonna even call this segment Funny-ish because I don't want to just curse and say funny shit. So we call it Funny-ish or Funny as Fuck. What y'all think? Should we call it Funny-ish or Funny as Fuck? All right, so every week, we gonna cut to... We gonna cut to a comedian that do some skits that we like and we found that shit funny and we just gonna cut to it. So real quick, we cutting the Funny-ish. I guess we'll insert it there or whatever. Okay. And we're back. This is the Facto Show. Yo, Shirley Choi Av. We got Rebe on the phone. Rebe Perrion. She's doing the Ask Choi Av segment for us. She's our special uh, uh, guest to do these questions. Thank you very much. Rebe, okay, let's run through these rest of these questions, please. Of these motherfucking sad people and all these emotional ass niggas. Get the fuck out of it. Why niggas so emotional, man? They on some fucking whole button shits, man. They, they, you know who's emotional? Whole buttons is an emotional ass thinker, man. Whole button, Joe Button, you emotional motherfucker, man. That nigga's always emotional, man. He, he, I don't know what the fuck is going on, man. He's a bit. I think it's the drugs. He's a fucking junkie, man. Damn. I think it's the drugs. I think it's the fucking drugs, man. I think it's the drugs. I think it's the motherfucking. These so niggas. When they be coming down. I don't know what the fuck you be. It's probably it's either the drugs or it might be. You know what I think? Just love I think why the, I I think why whole buttons. We gonna call whole buttons. Get a cape. I think why he's emotional. Hmm. Do I want to say this? Let me think. Do I want to save it? Yep. Did did listen. That would make a nigga emotional, but I feel like the main thing that makes this nigga emotional, and probably like, you know, you got to look at a lot of the times that niggas hate or have something to say against towards me. I think probably the nigga whole button, Joe Buttons might be emotional because I want to say me and Fab probably fucked all the women that he's ever loved in his life. Like between the two of us, we fucked every woman that he's loved. So... Maybe it's like a, you know, it's like a, a Desert Storm thing where he don't really, you know, he might have to go out fast with it, but like, you know, he might throw a little shot at me or whatever, but, you know, it's cool. Just know I didn't forget, motherfucker. 
I can forgive because you're an emotional person. I don't fuck with no emotional shit. But I ain't forget, man. I have not forgotten. All these niggas that was talking shit about your boy, I have not forgotten. I Trust me, I have not forgotten. You nigga, it's going to be hell to pay. Repent now. Repent now. Or it's going to be hell to pay. I swear. I'm 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 a merc I'm a merciful man. A merciful man sometimes. You know? Those motherfuckers would say I was wrong, I'm just bullshit. Alright, cool, cool. But niggas get emo I don't get emotional niggas. You, you know, niggas be loving these bitches too much and they get emotional. You feel me? I I treat women with respect and we good, but I know that pussy belongs to you, baby. It's not mine. Never. Never. No matter what you say. Oh, come on. It's motherfucking. Captain Cyber Ho. What's the next question, please? Okay, video dash said, how did you come up with God is great, paper is straight? Because God is great and my paper is straight. Next question, please. All right, video dash also said, would you let your girl... We're not doing you? two questions. We're just not going to do that. Because we have to be fair for the people. So the people in line. I want to I want to be fair for all my people. We're just not doing it. Next but, question, please. But, all right, Bonos. Well, no, you already asked that. I'm sorry. KB Sonova 626 said, Would you, what would you say to the people who tells you to simplify your style? Normally, I don't like answering questions or talking to people with numbers in their name, weird numbers like 626. Is that a zip code? <laughs> Can we check that? Can we check? Is that a zip code? Oh, let's Ram? Google it. Let's yeah, let's Google see. Six two six is zip. If it's a zip code, then cool. It's like my name being fucking no, Av seven one eight. Yeah, every code's a code. <laughs> Whatever. It's all the same shit. <laughs> but like, you can get some six two six. That's one number off yeah, from yeah, the it's devil. California. It's California. It's California. All right, I'll right, fuck with California. Speaking of California, spoke to my man Kuda Loke earlier, and he was on fire. He said, man, you believe this shit? I said, what? I said, what, crow? He said, man, these niggas ain't opening up till July or some shit. I said, word? Because I was just doing my thing. I don't be... This quarantine shit don't bother me. I'm good. I like being in my house. My house is full of luxury. I like doing my thing and chilling. But that nigga was like, man, it's some bullshit. You know what I mean? Then I said, well, shit, you know? Yeah, at least niggas like us still got the bag. And then he started laughing. He said, yo, I ain't going to front because you're absolutely right. <laughs> You absolutely right. But yeah. So all right, what what was his question? He said, um, what would you say to people who tell you to simplify your style? That's a stupid question next. I don't like that question. That's what would I say to people? <laughs> I would I, I wouldn't give a fuck what people say. Oh, what the fuck? Do all right. So <laughs> this is a good question. That you that's want. like you have that's like you got a fucking Jamaican restaurant and you sell mad curry chicken and it's mad spicy and and you fucking selling out, you getting Zagat Awards and and some people, <laughs> quote air quote people say, Hey, won't you uh uh lessen the, the pepper that you put in it? Like, make shut the fuck up. Yeah, get the fuck out of my stove. I'm not saying nothing to you niggas. Niggas don't matter. A lot of shit that people say don't matter. It just got to not matter. But okay, what's next? I wonder if they really want to keep asking you because you are wrong. <laughs> I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm cut. I'm not these fucking corny dweebs, man. This is different. I'm giving it to you how I feel. It's oh, a fact. Shit. I'm drinking a fucking... I'm drinking a, a, a Blackberry sidecar. I'm mixing my shit with a fork right now. And I did. Niggas can't say nothing about me having a fork. This is a crystal glass. You niggas ain't never drink out of... You niggas drink out of cups. Plastic cups, the fuck out of here. And I'm resting it on marble. You don't need a coaster when your shit is on marble. Because it's already on a coaster. Talk that shit, Troy Ave. Talk that shit. They ain't got this type of marble either. This some old other, other, other shit. This shit look like the Tiger King. This bitch got stripes and veins. Causing all kind of pain. Niggas don't even know the name. It's making a hater go insane. My Prezi ain't playing Jane. You niggas is finding it hard to maintain. <laughs> I'm in foreigns getting brain. None of my cribs ain't the same. I made sure that she came. Oh, talk your shit. It's a fact. Is that? Why? Ain't it on the charger? No. 
I really want to know this one. Okay. You did ask two questions, but you did allow me to pick a good one. So we got each other. I'm listening. I want, it was good that whole time, know. though, right? I'm listening. Would you let your girl do an OnlyFans? Of course. Why the fuck not? <laughs> Why the fuck not? Mm, okay. I don't think nothing wrong. I don't think nothing wrong. Only fans. Oh, I mean, if I mean, I don't, I don't think nothing wrong with that shit. She not touching no niggas, and you know what I'm saying. If she already on some sexy shit, cool, like whatever. Depends. I would rather her not show her face while she popping that pussy and shit. You know what I'm saying. But then even still, I mean, I'm I'm not insecure at all. I don't care if you know. If she would need to do it because she needs the money for something, no. She needs the money for something. Oh, oh, we need the money and I'm not making the money. If I ain't making the bag, I feel like baby leave me. I ain't, you know, I ain't the right, I ain't the right nigga. Hold on. Bro. Turn that turn that light on, Brown. That light, that light went out. It's on the um, you see it on the black cord? It might be on behind it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I feel like. I don't know, man. I, I I just got mixed reviews about it, but I, I say, yeah, why not? I feel like women depend. Women <clears throat> women can do whatever they no, want to no, do. No, 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 no. The question say your girl. It don't matter. My girl is still a woman. She's an independent woman. And she got her own free thoughts. Niggas be trying to niggas be trying to tie chicks down too much and make them and be dictators and shit like that. Like, if she wants to do that, then it's like, what is she doing it for? You got to look at it. If she got all the money that she need and you bringing in all the money that y'all need and she just wants to do it, to want to do it, then you know, maybe that's the appetite that she has and she want to do that shit. But if she doing it on some, babe, we need money and if I do this OnlyFans, I can make a bag and then we could go and we could invest this money in something else and then we don't have to do it, then I'm down with that. Come on, you hustling, baby. I respect that. It's a fact. But, okay, yeah. That, that's so that's about Marie, it. Jay and Marie wants to know who was your cele celebrity crush growing up. I don't really have no crushes. I'm not a s fucking, not a fucking nerd. I sit at the cool table. I'm not one of these niggas with a crush. Oh, that's my crush. Oh, that's fucking corny. What are you a woman? You got a crush? Your fucking face get red when they come around. Come on, it's crazy. What's next? Who's next? We're going to have to limit right, these questions. So, all right, so this is the last question. Have you ever fantasized no. about... I don't let no bitch play in no. my butt. I ain't with none of that shit. Don't believe me in the fucking... <laughs> no. Okay, all right. You, ever, you, you know, you know we talking about? to an artist. We talking to a, a, a rap artist. These rap niggas be getting all kind of shit in their ass. I was in I was uh, in Arizona. This girl told me she put a fucking... She put one of the brushes in the, a brush... The brush with the prickles at the end. I don't know what the women, the brush y'all wear. No. Said she put a brush in that nigga ass. I said, who is it? Tell me, bitch. Tell me. She said, I won't tell you. I said, bitch, tell me. She wouldn't tell me, man. That no good bitch. Oh, my God. But she did it. I seen in her eyes. I knew she was telling the truth, man. Okay, okay. Yeah. Have you, go ahead. Have you ever what? Have you ever fantasized about somebody else to help get off that? So like, I think I did a long time, a very long time ago. That was a very long time ago. I think I did. I think I fantasized about another chick a long time ago, though. Like, I don't know why the fuck I did it, but I did it. And it was like one or two times. Other than that, it's like... So, did it intensify your, 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 your climax? Nah, like nah. Nah, I just be trying to come and get going. I don't have no... See, you being a woman, did it intensify your climax? A nut is a nut. <laughs> ain't trying no, because the question was, have you ever fantasized about somebody else to come faster? Yeah, so I did, yes. The answer is yes. Okay. okay, perfect. Well, that's all the questions we have. We back me. on? Okay. Thank you, Reby. You've been so fucking amazing and shit, man. I appreciate you coming in on this first inaugural episode of the Facto Show and shit. You know, you know how we gonna do it. We probably gonna put a picture of you up, and then we're gonna have the questions that you asked. We're gonna make it like real. We're gonna do some some cinematic edited shit. All right, perfect. That sounds like a plan. We should do the shoe cam now. We should do the shoe cam. So I think, dang. 
I think how it should go is you should be like, hey, let's see your shoes on the shoe cam. You yeah. want me to do that? Yeah, let's just do it. We just, we're not even going to edit it. We're going to keep it raw. On the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Hey, let's see your shoes on the shoe cam. Where are you from, girl? Because your accent is amazing. I'm from Mississippi, Tennessee. Ooh, of course. Okay, shit. First, well, my shoes on the shoe cam, these are some. These are some Hirachis from the '90s type of flow. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They match. Oh, they match with. Sneakers? They match with my Valentino jacket. These are mids. These are mid Hirachis. The best kind of mids with the. They like the old oh, man. You know what? I wanted some Bo Jacksons. Can we see if they got some of them Bo Jacksons brown? I want to order them shits now. The black and gray Hirachis. Oh, I remember I was supposed to get them shits, but I got in trouble in school. Every time I used to get my report card. I would get in trouble because I was terrible in school. Like, not I was a good student, but I was bad. And my fucking punishment would be I wasn't getting shit. It was times my birthday didn't came, I didn't get shit, got fucked over, and I just couldn't behave myself. And I'm fucking, I'm fucking nervous because I see that my my five year old is heading down the same motherfucking path. <laughs> Things just going, they get in trouble, they get mad creative. He got like all my good and bad traits, and I'm just like, damn. And I kind of want to tell him early, like, man, just fuck school, man. All you need to do is know how to read, write, and do math. That's all you fucking need from school. But it's like, ah, oh, I don't want to be a bad parent. I'm going to just let him go along with the school shit. But, like, my, my contractor who do a lot of my properties that I, that I um buy, that motherfucker said, man, what? I dropped, he's an Italian guy. I dropped out of school in fucking uh, 10th grade. Oh, yeah. Yeah, school my balls. You know what I'm saying? And he's got mad money. So, you know, I don't know. I feel like education is a trick sometimes. But whatever. Thank you, Rebe. You've been amazing on the fact of show. Hey, you know what? I think this is dope. We're going to do a model of the week. Every time, Every week, we're going to do a model of the week. And I think this is dope because we can have... What you think, Brown, about this? This is, I'm coming up with the ideas on, on the fly. When we do the model of the week, I think the model of the week can ask me to ask your ad questions. And that way we can see who's smart and who's just pretty or who can't fucking read. You know a lot of motherfuckers can't read. I think that'd be dope. Okay, you did it. So um, I guess we got to ask you questions or we could just point it on the screen. We'll pull up Reby's joints right here. Um... What would, what would they ask? Hey, where you from? Um, I don't know. They'll probably ask your measurements. There you go. Age. There you go. All um, kind of shit. Something um, sexy or sexual. Mm. Maybe some sexy or sexual. Mm, okay, let's just let's just go with that. We could put all the measurements. I don't I don't really know what what's a, like Brown. What's a dope question that we could ask a model? Oh, let me let me get one of these magazines. They always ask me. No, shit. we gonna go. No, we gonna freestyle. We don't want to do nothing for no magazine. Huh? What you say, bro? Okay. Yeah, let's just go at the top. I just want to ask you a question. Um, okay, what's your name? I'm Ruby Perrier. Um, what's your what's your uh, social media at? It's at underscore Ruby underscore Ruby. Um, can you cook? Yes. What's your I favorite? Really what's your favorite dish to cook? Give me a favorite dish. If you trying to lock a nigga in, like yo, this well, nigga's no, going. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is the facto show with Troy Ave. This is not the Reedy <laughs> Perry on show. Why are you trying to manhandle my show? I'm asking the questions here, man. All right. If you so, if you trying to lock if you trying to lock this nigga in, like yo, this you know what this uh, this is my go to move. I'm gonna lock this nigga in. You gotta make what's one meal. Is- what's the meal gonna be? I would make a Sunday dinner, and I would cook um, lasagna. That's my specialty. Banana pudding is my specialty. What kind of lasagna? Regular, like with ricotta cheese and and meat? No, that's not regular ricotta cheese. I mean, listen, that's, man, you got to go into details. I want to hear it. I'm a, I'm a fat I mean, I'm a fat kid. I like to eat. Talk to me. I mean, the thing is, is I'm not going to tell you my recipe, but I would not use ricotta cheese. But what's in it? What's in this lasagna? Lasagna. I mean, I don't want the other models to lock people in. They I, might want to lock it in my interest. No, nah, so we ain't we, want... we ain't gonna give it nobody from Memphis. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> we gonna, it's only one. Only there can only be one 
You gotta chop them bitches head off <laughs> right at the dome. Poop. <laughs> Bitch, you gotta wait 12 months. You're done. That's it, you're done. <laughs> oh man. No, so what I would not be using would be ricotta cheese, okay? Mm. Mm. And that's ricotta cheese is like cottage cheese, right? I would not be using anything like that. Okay, what else? Because this is not a conversation about ricotta cheese, ma'am. I'm just really trying to right. understand what you would that's cook. What I would do. So, I would cook a whole Sunday dinner, but my specialty would be lasagna and banana pudding. That would be my specialty. What, if wait. you don't like banana pudding, I would cook a strawberry uh, cheesecake. As y'all would say in Memphis, I'm confused. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused. Hold on, I'm confused. <laughs> You put murk in that ricotta cheese and murk in that lasagna. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm dead ass confused. What's a Sunday dinner? What is that exactly? I'm, I'm right, dead ass so confused. That would be like a holiday meal. Yeah, I'm coding. I want to put on my hoodie. Yeah, like on the same meal. So I would put the candy in. I would put the greens. I would put the uh, cheese. I would put the cheese. My type of shit. Like a peas or pinto beans. Where do I sign? You got me. Where do I sign? Black Eyed Peak Pinto me. Damn. Listen, you from up north. Y'all don't eat this shit. We do. We do. We just don't get it cooked. We got to go to a soul food spot to get it. But look, the um, how you going to cook lasagna with that shit? Yeah, because you have a lot to choose from. So lasagna, with these So you one of those women that get a nigga fat, so none of the other women lo- want him. No, no, he no, just no, no, no. A, he just a fat just nigga now. Moderate, eat moderate or small portions. Nobody tells you just to eat these mm, stuff. Okay. Eat moderate or small portions. Cool, cool story, bro. Cool story. Cool story. Okay, so you could cook. You from Memphis? <laughs> we'll put your measurements up. And um, I don't know what other questions to ask. I don't just want to make up shit. But thank you. You've been amazing. Hey, we appreciate you, man. I want This is when I start talking to my professional, very professional voice, man. We really appreciate you. Thanks for um, thanks for coming in on the inaugural episode. It was amazing. I mean, I love it. I mean, oh my gosh, you're just amazing. Well, thanks for having me anytime. Are, are you talking back to me in a fake voice? Yeah. Is that what she doing, bro? She admitted to it. <laughs> you talking back to me in a fake voice? We just faking each other out. This is why I don't, this is this how the whole fucking whole entertainment shit be. They could be faking it. Who can fake the most? You fake, I'm faker. Let's have a fake off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your jury fake, my shit faker. Let's all be fake. These niggas is bad fake. Niggas is fake the oh fake the snake robin. All right, all right, baby, you was dope as hell. Thank you for helping us out, and um, we'll be in touch. Okay, perfect. Talk to you later. Bye. All right, no doubt. Everybody go follow Reby and all that. Um, you know what? Oh shit, I'm putting the wrong code. Um, I want to go to IG Live, but before I do that, I want to. Um, we went, we did the funny ish, we did the mile week, um, we did a shoe cam. Um, we did. We're gonna get in a couple. We can get in a couple questions, y'all. It should been fun. I don't want to have one of those things that drag out all day. You know what I'm saying? I want it to just be smooth. I want this shit to be some shit that you just ride to in your car. Yeah, we got any more outlets because I need to plug up this fucking phone. I mean, hey yo, real quick, let's um, let's bounce to my dog from the from the West Coast. One of my partners, Scotty Sco. Shoot out to Scotty Sco real quick. I probably just need I need to plug. Let's let's um let's shoot out to the west west side, Inglewood to be exact. Always up to no good. Go fuck with my partner, Scotty Sco. Commercial break. Um, nah, I actually need the. I actually need the um. What's that shit called? I need the. Uh, you could take the plug out that iPhone because I don't think it'll die. Speed man, kill. Yeah. It'll, the 
I won't reach. That plug can't come over here a little bit more. Okay. I'm mm. sorry, the person you are trying to reach has. <laughs> we gotta get this phone on the charge. Oh. Man, this bitch is going. Oh, watch the watch the iPad. All right, we good. And we're back. It's the Facto Show. That was my main man, Bosco 100 on the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? He was doing his, doing his thing. And um, I guess Charlemagne is supposed to suck a dick, ain't he? That was supposed to happen right now. <laughs> Charlemagne, he was supposed to suck a dick, man. You know? But we don't expect you to be a fucking man of your word or a bitch of your word, however the fuck you want to say it. Oh, no, let me. Uh, no, we got to pop that up. Yeah. He, he's, supposed, he's supposed to suck a dick. Someone was 6'9". He told me he would suck a dick if he did something, something, something. That's just... Niggas just be saying anything. Niggas just say anything. Like, I'll burn this building down if... Niggas say whatever. Nothing I'm advocating, niggas. Nothing I'm advocating, uh, men sucking dicks. But he's kind of a dick sucker, man. I'm going to tell you how he's a dick sucker. He's a dick sucker for one because, um, hey, so everybody know who, who's, who the ops is. Got a whole court case over the shit. And that, matter of fact, just get the clown cake award going on. Let's get the clown cake war going on. Fuck it. It's the first annual clown cake. You know what? I'm going to save that for the next episode. I'm going to save that for the next episode. Happy clown cake to you. Happy clown cake to you. Happy clown cake, you bitch ass nigga. Happy clown cake to you. Next episode. All right. So... Let me run through a couple of these other shits real quick. Um, we're going to do our, our top five songs, whatever top five shit I'm about. Oh, videos. Because I'm more so, I like videos more than anything. The song, videos bring the shit to life for me. So I'm going to just probably put the names and shit up here of the top five videos. Boom, y'all go check them shits out. It's shit I'll fuck with. It might, you never know what it is. It might be some new shit. It might be some shit from fucking, it might be Carl Thomas, Summer Rain. It might be DMX. Type of games are being played. How's it going down? You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know what the fuck it is. It might be KBZ. It might be Loudy Brown. You don't know what the... You know how I'm coming. It might be Choi Ab. You just don't never know with me. Because I'm wild like that. So, anyway. um, What the fuck was the other shit? Uh, let's see if we going to pass or go. Some, some bitch was in Ikea masturbating and shit. And playing with a pussy in Ikea. And Ikea had a problem with it. It said don't. <laughs> it sent out a... They sent. They felt necessary to send out a a, a, a fucking email or something to just hey, do not play with yourself during the pandemic. It, I think they was in China or some shit. Okay, who gives a fuck? Um, what the fuck is that? Do you think something's gonna happen to Takashi? <laughs> do I think something's gonna happen to Takashi? Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> Absolutely not. If we want to, uh, we I mean, let's just touch on it like this. If niggas talking about the, the streets and the street codes and shit, well, what should happen technically is probably um Jim Jones should have him murdered because he sent um Jim Jones man male murder to jail. You know what I'm saying? And and their old bloods and their old and the gang shit. So you know when the gang shit gang shit gotta happen. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. It, it's fucked up. I mean, we'll we'll see if it happens. I say streets is myth. This ain't nothing gonna happen. And I'm, you know, it, it's fucked up. But it is what it is, dang. That's an alarm. Um, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what it's about. Um, I see a lot of other motherfuckers saying shit, but to me, I feel like don't just talk about shit. If you really don't be halfway, halfway trying to, uh, uh, 
Don't be halfway trying to say what niggas should do in the street. You not you not a fucking street analyst or uh, uh, a street referee, nigga. If you really with it, then go ahead and be with all the shits. You know what I'm saying? So when these rappers feel ways and they talk about talk about the nigga and they want to do whatever, make sure that nigga, when you see that nigga, you be with all the shit that you talked about. Don't care. Don't tell me about no police around. Don't tell me about no, it's the wrong place, the wrong time. We had a... a, a a fucking backstage concert or we had an award show, the Grammys, nigga. If you feel wholeheartedly about what you feel, then you got to stand on that, period. Then that's what we got to start judging these people over. Because these motherfuckers, if if you feel wholeheartedly about some nigga, money, don't, money ain't more important than that. You feel me? And these niggas be putting money more important than shit. They be putting on um, um, situational, niggas be situational gangsters. Hey, yo, when, if I seen this nigga in the, Time is right Then I'm gonna bust a move No nigga If you feel that passion About something You bust a move Don't try to rally Other motherfuckers up To bust a move for you To me that ain't That's being instigated And that ain't really like No gangster shit You feel me Like niggas know how I give it up Nigga if it's a problem Nigga I'm not gonna go There's not gonna be No social media shit Nigga When when I see you Then we just gonna discuss it <laughs> You feel me And it's gonna be What it's gonna be As a fact A lot of motherfuckers Be f- this shit is disgusting. So, yeah, I don't think absolutely nothing's going to happen to him because I think a lot of these niggas is pussy, man. That's what I that's that's what I think. And then, you know, if they're not pussy, then, they're, then they'll fucking do something. They'll do something to this nigga. But if you got excuses about... If you got excuses like, what would the nigga say? Yo, I don't want to... Um, I don't... Nah, I ain't going to fuck with him because I'm going to go to jail. Nigga, you shouldn't care about jail if you a gangster, right? Technically. You a fucking gangster. You shouldn't give a fuck about no jail. You don't care about none of that shit. You don't care about doing life. You don't care about doing... Nah, I'm not throwing my shit away. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's where, it get... That's where the gray area you come in. You ain't gonna throw your life away. But you'll tell another motherfucker to do some shit. This shit, this whole shit is goofy, man. It's a whole lot of goofy shit going on, man. And we'll talk about it more. Even like down in my situation. Everybody know I got a cocaine shit I'm going through. A lot of niggas got opinions on shit. But... Where's the where's the real where I'm I'm gonna just hold it down for now. And then we'll adjust them on the platform. We're gonna be doing this a lot. Like this is comfortable. Let's go on to the next year. But moral of the story is these niggas are pussy, nothing gonna happen. If they not, I wish they wasn't pussy. I wish they would, you know, make a move. At least we didn't know, like, damn, I could fuck with your music, cause nigga, you really like that. You really own some Choi Ave shit. Cause everything Choi Ave talk about, he into, he do it. We seen it. He shows it, period. Um, <laughs> God's great and paper straight, man. Next one, um, would would you snitch on a gang if they did something to you? How uh, when you're in a gang, you can't snitch. You're in a gang. You can't do. Th- you're in a gang. If 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 gang members are doing something, I don't care if they fucking lynch your mama, nigga. You have to go lynch them and their mom and set the house on fire and kill all the babies. Whatever you want to do. Because you already a gangster. This is what you signed up for. You, you're a gang member, nigga. Period. It don't matter. You match the aggression with the aggression. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I'll say definitely. I know shit, they got sticky for niggas. I'm from Brooklyn. Like, I'm really of this. You feel me? It just so happened that I, I changed my life and I started paying mad fucking money in taxes. And, you know what I'm saying? I started... Doing shit a little different, but like you could check. It's how you could really tell if a motherfucker's about something. You could tell if any artist is about some shit that they talking about. Look at their first video. If they talking about getting money, let me see what you was getting in your first video. Because if you from certain places like Brooklyn, you can't get money at at certain times without without niggas being on your body. Fact though. You getting extorted. You getting you had to be really about what you was about. You couldn't be soft. You had to be on some real some real gangster shit. You feel me? So you can look at my first videos and you can see. I ain't, and it ain't no cars rented. Everything is mine. It ain't no jewelry rented. Everything is mine. I ain't have much of it. You know what I mean? Because I was coming up out the, out the streets. But long story, long story long, that's how I was living. Um, what's, Have you ever paid for sex with prostitutes? What type of stupid ass question is that? Um, Have a... I think in some sort of way, oh, I think probably the first time I ever went to a strip club, I paid, I paid, and it was a horrible experience. The fucking condom broke. 
I was scared to death. I thought I had AIDS. You know, I was terrified, my nigga. Like, I was terrified. I was like, whoa. Like, crazy. I was like, wait, what is this? Is it strip club? Wait, this bitch with the big butterfly tattoo on her ass? I could fuck her right now for $50? What? I was fucking going crazy. Hey, you know, that's probably... I, I, I paid for the sex, kind of broke, and I was terrified. I was fucked up for a long time. And, man... I'm thinking about the feeling right now. It was bad, man. It was bad. It was... It takes me to a dark place. It takes me to a very dark place. This is this is what I mean by the influence of older niggas. These older niggas from my hood, they was going doing all this kind of shit. Yo, yeah, yo, this shit is lit. Yo, man, bitch, a strip club. I'm I'm 17. What? I never been in a strip club. Let's go. I pull up in the strip club. I got a little man. I think I was 18 or some shit. I was eight, yeah, I was 17, 18. I go to the strip club. They told me all the good shit. Yo, it was mad, bitch. Yo, they doing everything. Yo, they, they fucking smoking blunts and they pussy. All kind of shit. What? And my mind is blown. I go on this shit. There's a hole in the wall on Nostrand Avenue, like, like off of Empire Boulevard in Brooklyn. I go on this shit. The shit is lit. It's a little room with a curtain. You go back there. You tip them, tip the nigga at the door $10 or whatever. You go in there. You fucking bitch for $50. These niggas tell me everything except for what to do if the condom breaks, nigga. If you, when you pull out that, you pull your dick out and all you see is the rim of a condom. <sighs> bro, I was fucked, I was fucked up, bro. I was, well, nigga, I feel it right now. I was like, this bitch gave me AIDS. This bitch gave me AIDS, man. I was done. I was done. That shit give me anxiety right now. I mean, I ain't popping no pills. I ain't none of these fucking monkey dicks. Ain't popping. Man, woo! But yeah, that was probably the last time I ever officially paid for sex with cash. But of course, I think everybody pays for sex in one way or another. You take a girl out to, to eat dinner. I like to eat at nice restaurants and shit. You know what I mean? Dinner might be fucking, uh, I want to say at least... 180 minimum, you know what I'm saying? It up. So, nigga, that's what he, you got to add. You, you went to dinner, you, you you pay for gas, you pay for a hotel, you know what I'm saying? The fucking pussy might cost you $300. Sometimes it might be better to pay $50 in a $10 tip for some pussy. But you don't want that counter to break, man. That's a bad feeling, babe. Woo-wee. I was fucked up. I'm fucked up now over this shit. But I'm clean. I'm clean. I'm Never had SED. I'm clean. Just fucked up emotionally. I got that feeling in my chest. Yeah, but either way, you gonna pay for some pussy. Either way. Whether it be Uber, nigga. Sometimes, they, some of these women, they Uber cost fucking... Uh, they, it's, ain't it always funny how you'll pay for that Uber when you got a, when you first initially get into pussy, but then after that, you'd be like, oh, I'm not paying for that again. I had a girl hit me. This is... Real life, just a fact though, shows so everything we dealing in is fact. I had a girl hit me about getting her Uber, boom. I had seen him before. We already did our thing, whatever, whatever. Cool. Now, mind you, she told me she had some nigga in the house. She had to throw the nigga out and all that kind of shit, whatever, whatever. I was like, oh, all right, that's, that's cool. Already in my mind, I'm like, whoa, bitch, you got niggas living with you. I know what type of caliber niggas you fucking with. You know what I'm saying? So then when she told me about um, I paid for an Uber and shit back, back and forth. I think that shit was was like a buck twenty, some dumb shit, whatever the fuck it was. But whatever. And um, now mind you, you know what the going rate of pussy is. Now she wasn't on the level, you know what I'm saying? Like a nigga then flew shit in, I fly chicks in. However, you know it's the cost of doing business. But she wasn't on the level to where her shit start. Bitch, whoa, whoa. I could fly a joint in for, you know, a couple bucks more. So after that, it was time to get up again. And then she tried to tell me, okay, yeah, I'm just, um, I say, I sent to my Addy. She said, oh, I want to get up with you. All right, cool. Well, here go to Addy. That's where I'm at. Of course, I didn't send my address where I'm living. No, no, no. Of course not. We don't never do that. I sent to the Addy to this restaurant <laughs> that I would be at or that I would pick up from. And then um, I say, yo, I... Yeah, how, how far? How far are you from here? So 
she says, I don't know. Um, just just send an Uber. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. See, this is what this is what I'm saying, like, about when you're not, if you want a, a, a significant other, whether it be your your you a guy, you dealing with a woman, or you're a woman, you dealing with a guy, or whatever, you a woman dealing with a woman. If you want that person to respect you, then you got to carry yourself with a certain level of respect. So I told her, like, wait a minute. Matter of fact, damn, my phone is there. I want to hit the exact. I'm going I'm to just, what is it called when you quote something, but you don't really quote it? Verbatim or some shit? It's not verbatim. So I'm going to, um, I forget the fucking word. Paraphrase. I'm going to paraphrase it. So it was I'm like, yo, um, listen, I'm I don't know about this Uber every time I see you. That shit is buck twenty, buck fifty. Like, I you need to figure it out. I'm used I'm used to people paying to see me, not the other way around. I was just being honest with her. I'm used to people paying to see me, not the other way around. And then I'm used to women with cars or or you know, they got their own Uber, so I'm saying like I, I mean you cool and all, but it's like you becoming a bill, and every time I see you, it's a bill to me. You feel me? I'm not I'm not when these niggas is pressed at all, never. So you need to figure that out or not. But if you a bill to me, then you know how we treat bills. We motherfucking see them shits when we see them shits. We use them and we tear them up. You know what I'm saying? We get them, we pay them, and they're done. But don't. Get the fuck out of here. Like, she was bugging. Especially when I know you had a nigga coming and living off of you. Don't try to take my kindness or my success for weakness. We're not going to do it like that. Especially when I know you was taking a fucking Uber around to uh, uh, go get your hair done and shit. Like, you got Uber. You got the app. Don't do me like that, baby. Don't do me like that. We're not going to do that. All right. Um, Next joint. I forgot what the fuck I was saying about that. That was about paying for sex. But the next question is about um Mike Tyson coming back. I think that'd be ill. I would pay to see it. But Mike can't fight nobody. Um, he can't fight one of these. He gotta fight somebody older, man. What you think, bro? Yeah, he gotta fight somebody. He gotta fight a nigga that's about forty. Don't be fighting any these other. Or he could fight somebody that's like not too heavy. That's where he be having little issues at when they be a little heavier in size and shit like that. But um, yeah, Mike Tyson. Speaking of niggas fighting, I just and I need y'all to tell me if, about how y'all feel about this shit. <laughs> so, speaking of niggas fighting, I had a, I had a homeboy. He was fighting for his freedom. Um, seven, y'all know King Seven, BSB shit. You know me. Um, I just found out I got a call from my man Rob earlier. Rob was like, "Damn, Seven got seven years." I was like, "What? Nigga, I smoked. They smoked him seven years in jail." It was doing all kind of shit. It was, he got um, jammed up with my other boy, 8-Ball. And then um, Ja blows him. Fuck with Ja. Ja was just some corny shit. Like, I don't be, I be cutting niggas off. I don't fuck with niggas. So, long story long, Seven was, Seven was my man, but Seven did corny shit. Now, y'all tell me how I should feel. I just found out how much time he got. I didn't even know nigga was in jail because I'm the type of person that, if you playing both sides, I can't fuck with you. So, long story long. You know, BSB, we was all together and shit. And um, when everything popped off at Everton Plaza, um, Seven knew about it. Seven knew who the fuck ran, who the fuck ain't hold it down, who ain't, um, who did this loyal shit, who lied, who who seen my man body on the floor and kept it pushing. You know what I'm saying? Who was being a snake, like sucker shit. He knew about Hov ran and all these niggas. And, and, you know, he, the nigga, Chose to still kick it with niggas who did who did wrong shit with, to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, mind you, at one time we was all family, but I feel like nigga, if niggas ain't acting like family, then they not family. And if you choose a side, nigga, then stay there. That's how that's how I feel. That's how I be handling shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, some people will say that's wrong and they be a lot forgiving and shit. I'm in a position where I don't have to forgive motherfuckers because I don't need motherfuckers. It's a fact. Like I'm in that type of position. Oh, even if I do forgive you, I don't have to fuck with you. It's like, all right, you did some corny shit, and now I don't fuck with you. So now I feel like, if, and if the shoe was on the other foot, I wouldn't have done him like that. If niggas did him foul any type of way, I'm not fucking with them niggas because I know 
right is right and wrong is wrong. And what niggas did was wrong, period. So if you see me face to face and you agree that, yeah, the niggas, yeah, that, that shit is whack, the niggas did niggas wrong, and then you go back and then you still key key and ha ha and then fucking with that other side, then I feel like I can't fuck with you. So then, no matter what type of history we had and like the history, was, you know, niggas was cool, man. I was like, you know, one of the, that was one of my mans. I, I put, I put them niggas with so much of my man. I put them niggas on in the music game and shit. So, so now after you do that, you cross the line. It's like, all right, fuck everything I did. You gonna fuck with, you gonna fuck with the ops, uh, uh, quote unquote. Um, I feel like if you go to jail and shit, I shouldn't give a fuck. It's not none of my business. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you feel about that, bro? Facts? Okay. I mean, because in internal, like, inside in my heart, I'm a real good person and shit. I got to fight that. Because a lot of times, me being a real good person, that shit get taken advantage of. So, I'm sitting there like, damn, nigga, I just found out nigga got seven years today. Yo, should I send, send him something or should I... Go visit or some shit. Like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Make you see what Jelly in. Make sure he's good because, you know, I got peoples around. But it's just like, man, if you fuck me over, then it's fuck you. You feel me? And that's what I'm struggling with. So that's my question to y'all. Like, how y'all feel about that? You fuck me over, then it's fuck you. I, I, I just don't know. Matter of fact. And you know what we could do? This is perfect. Since we doing ghetto shit. And we, um, since we doing ghetto shit, but we just figuring out a way. How about I just go on IG Live and I, and I ask the people that answer? How about that? Let's do it. Let's go on IG Live and let's just ask the people. I'm going to put tonight's question. Question, um, somebody's. Is loyal to you, and then they go through. A hard time in life. Should you give? Should you care? Should you care? Should you give a fuck? Let me just go with what I feel like. Should you give a fuck? And we'll pin that. <laughs> we'll pin that. And as we pin that, we'll um we'll put somebody up there. And then we'll just talk. Bo Beasy, what up? Golden Swag, what up? I see y'all. Fact, I see everybody. DJ Tatum, what up? Fady, what's up, boo? Um. Okay. Go live with um, Five Star. We gonna go hard. You love my accent. Okay, talk about it. You gotta, you gotta sign on though, baby, because we just going, we going live. We can't take all day to sign on and get this thing done. Sometimes it's just mad late in the morning. These motherfuckers don't be dressed and no shit like that. See, she requested me. She said she loved my voice. Now when I sign on, she done blew a shot. I said, you're done. On to the next. That's how life goes. It's on to the next. It's on to the next. I try to hit you. Let's see. Let's see who we going to tap in real quick. You got to do this IG Live shit when it's a little earlier. It's a dark room. I don't need to get on any of shit. We just need your voice. We don't really need to see you. Are in the back fire. You like that? Thank you, my boy. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. I got you. We live right now. Big Basto, you said make a podcast. Listen, man, we got a podcast talk show. It's called The Facto Show. If you want to be on it, make sure you go live with me right now. We going live with a couple of people real quick. And we talking about the, the question at hand right there, you feel me? Let's tap in. Good luck, you old nigga. Say you fire. Fabian, what's good? Hey yo. 
Oh, my son looking crazy, man. He got a hair out of place, braids looking crazy. I can't even. I don't know what the fuck you talking about, man. You ain't got no sound. Uh, there she go, beauty and brains. Let's tap in. I'm trying to. I'm trying to pull y'all in real quick. We doing a live recording of the facto show right now. If they disloyal, I'm gonna be around to see. Oh, there she go. I'm there, just waking up. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You live on the facto show with Choi Ave. And um, oh, what's, up? what's going on? So the question is, you see the question? Can you read the question for us and for the people that's just listening? Question: If somebody's disloyal to you and then they go through a hard time in life, should you give a tuck? Should you give a tuck? I thought it was should you give a fuck. Oh, I fucked that up. Yeah. Should, should you give a fuck? So what's your answer to that? I'm loyal to a fault. So I feel like I'm not going to change who I am because of them being disloyal. Right. I feel like it makes it makes them feel even more fucked up if you do give a fuck. So you saying you should give a fuck. So like I got a partner. They just went to um, went to jail, and you know we fell out because he did some disloyal shit. And now that he's in jail, should I be giving a fuck or should I just be like, man, fuck it, nigga? Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, it is because be uh, being a bigger person don't really work out a lot of times, man. Not what? So, I mean, fuck, I Donald Trump ain't the bigger person, and he's the president. Why should I be the bigger person? What the fuck? What do you get out of being a bigger? Really, 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 really in life. What do you really get out of being a bigger person? Please tell me. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, you just you just taught me a little. Bit. <laughs> All right. Well, thank thank you for thank you for tapping in and shit. Good morning to you too. Let's ta- we talk later on. Okay. Bye. I one. I'm trying to, to come on. Look what my man said. Once you're disloyal, you're disloyal forever. That's what he said. <laughs> I'm going to tap in. We're going to take being a bigger person as a mind frame. Fuck that. I'd rather have a bigger bank. Hey, listen, fam. Oh, man. You fucking up, bro. You in the dark talking about it. Listen. Oh, oh. Hey, listen. I got I got to hang up on him, man. He wasn't doing the right thing. He's, coming, he's in the dark. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Come on, my boy. Let's do it the right way. Don't just come on to, hey, listen, fam. Hey, listen, these niggas ain't trying to hear all that shit. My people need to see you. On the fact, though, show, we need to see you. Fuck out of here. We don't know who you are. He's a catfish. Think it might be a, a fucking, think it might be a clone. We don't know what these niggas is, bro. Might be a fucking, we don't know what you are. You can't speak for the people. We don't know what you are, who you are. In the fucking dog. You know, we got electricity. I don't want your opinion if you don't have electricity. Period. There's nothing you can tell me about life if you don't got no fucking lights on your house. Tatiana, I'm trying to, I'm trying to pull you in. Jay Wiley, I got you, my boy. May, I see you, May. I see you, May. She on the West Coast up late. All right, Jay Wiley, I'm gonna tap you in. Let's talk. You on the fact though, show. Yo, boy, y'all see the fucking ambiance. What's up, my boy? You on the fact of show with your half? Talk to me. What's the word? I'm Wally. I'm from UK. Last time I came when I didn't come over that shit, so you took me out. Yeah, yeah. You got a shirt on now? What you going on with, fam? Men's them coming on with no shirt and things, man. Men's them getting a pee. Men's them got to wear a shirt, fam. What you going on with? Nah, I'm I'm close fucking though. Yeah, about this low you shit, bro. Uh Uh-huh. I'm going to put it like this on. I don't know too much because I'm from America, so you guys might think different, but... Nah, um, nah, tell us how tell us how it is where you from. So the question is, you know, if somebody, I, I, if somebody disloyal to you and then they go through a hard time, like, if somebody disloyal and they fucked you over and now they going through some shit, now they in jail, now they fucking, somebody close to them died or, or now they been in a car accident, they in a wheelchair, whatever, whatever, but they fucked you over before, should you give a fuck now? Yeah, I like to look at disloyal as disloyal. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no if you feel away. But go, go ahead, go ahead, talk to me. If if you're someone that knows like my family and she, you know my parents, you know my like we've been cool for like a long time. 
and you do you do some fucked up shit like steal from me. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna speak to your body and like just like try to like tell him not to do it again and shit like that. But if you try to do it again, then I know then he out to kill me. You see what I'm saying? Mm, that's a fact. So like that, it just depends on the type of shit the person does because it's like it's not, I don't feel everything as the same punishment. If you get what I mean? Okay. I, I I understand what you're saying. I'm not gonna say I agree, but I understand where you're coming from. That's a fact. I usually see with me. I usually be kind of like, I usually be black and white. I don't really try to play with no gray area. You know what I'm saying? Because the gray area is what get you killed. You know what I'm saying? Because you forgive niggas for shit that you should be like, man. If it was another nigga, it would be a problem or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I I just I try not to play in that area, especially like where we from. That shit get you, that shit trust turn you dust. You know what I'm saying? You show yeah, me who you are, I ain't fucking you know, with you. Like that. Word up. But good looking checking in, my boy. You know, Friday we dropping that new shit. Yeah, but, but anyway, I'm just going to say, like, I was going to tell you last time, anytime you come from the UK, I go, I go, studio, I go, everything, bro. Come fuck with me, bro. I see you, my boy. Hopefully, I get I'm to get out there soon, man. I DJ as well, bro. I'm a top down to be a DJ. Bro. Well, you need to play that new shit. She belongs to the game, man. What's up with you? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo, Friday, I'm dropping a new shit. So get, make sure you grab it from TroyAv.com. Nah, Fuck with your boy. Post on my page, I'll tag you and I'll tag you. Don't worry about it. All right, my boy. Later on. Later on, nah, fam. Uh, later, bye. All right, you already. <laughs> fam, shout out to the shout out to the fam, man's them. Hey, Brown, you got some talks? You going on with, fam? How do man's them getting a pee out there? Man's them getting serious pee. That's a fact, though. All right, let's talk this. Motherfucking, who we going to tap in real quick? Come on. Nigga named Hefe, 20K20. Who went tap in? We going to do three, we gonna do three yeah, more of the people. Good. You know what it is, my boy. You on the Facto Yo, Show with Troy Ave talking. the Facto Show, yeah? Yeah, you already. Where you from, fam? Yeah, shit, bro. Hold up. Me guys. Do my room, bro. bro. Shit, bro. I didn't think you'd actually accept, bro. It's not. But I did, fam. What you going on with, fam? Men's them yeah, getting shit. serious pee out there? Getting pee out here, bruv. Trust. You already. Trust, bro. Gucci hat and all that. I see you yeah, out here, yeah, Playboy. I see you. Yeah, Woo. bro. It's good, bro. It's good. Bro, and you say, my boy. Music, bro. Yep. I love your music, bro. For real. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. Bro, you know bro. I'm dropping some new shit on Friday. The, yeah, bro. I've been waiting on that. The yeah. BSB tapes, bro. Yeah. Yeah, bro, yeah bro, boy. Rex in my backpack, bro. For real. Mm. Bro, bro. <laughs> I got mm. in my backpack, bro. I got Ooh. the bro. Daddy got the MCL with the studs on it. I see you, they, Playboy. They here, bro. Bro, they're here, bro. They're here. That's what's yeah, up. What's, what's good, though, bro? What's good? Yo, ain't shit, my boy. So, look, here go the question. We got the Facto Show. I'm starting a new shit. talk show and podcast. This shit gonna be everywhere Um, in a couple of days. So, I am going to take some IG Live. You know, I it, we started just kicking it with my IG Live family. So, now yeah, I want to yeah. make sure I bring y'all on to the, the platform that we got going on. So, the question is, if somebody's disloyal to you, and then all of a sudden they go through a hard time in life, should you give a fuck? Should you care fuck at all? Bro. Fuck him, bro. Fuck him? One chance, bro. Give him once, innit? Give him once. Mm. In it. In it. That's my boy. Once. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a BSB fact, though, bro. That's, that's a fact, fact though. though. That's a because, fact, though. Bro. If they fucked you over, they don't get no, They don't get a second chance. Fuck him, bro. It's once, innit? It's once. Mm. Why are you saying twice, innit? Why would you give them twice? You're right. You're right. A disloyal motherfucker is a disloyal motherfucker, right? Yeah, exactly, bro. Exactly, bro. That's a fact. Yeah, hey, yo, I'm, I'm waiting on that tape. I'm that tape I appreciate you checking in, fam. Take a screen. Take a take a screenshot of us real quick. You heard? Hold on, let me let me back this shit up. Damn, I need it. This motherfucking shit won't even. All right, whatever. You got it? Yeah, I got it. I'll All right, my boy, one hundred. Yeah, love. Bo, Bo BZ, I see you. Come on, let's do it. What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? I mean, he got bricks in his backpack right now. Man's I'm getting serious P in it. Yeah. I'm about to watch Top Boy again, you heard? Boy, you got the fucking pimple of pimples. Two of them hoes. Usually I get pimples if I'm got like women with hair grease on my sheets. What's up, my boy? Where you at? I see you look light outside. What's up? Where you at, bro? Where you from? Where you from? Oh, Nairobi? Oh, I knew a girl named Nairobi. 
All right, all right. We got them, we got them diamonds out there. You smuggle me a diamond or two. What we doing? I just want to say one thing. Once you destroy, once you destroy, destroy that, that's it. That's it, you're done? That's it, you're done. I'm done. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah, you just... Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, so you thank saying... You, thank you, man. Yo, thank, thank you, my brother. You saying ain't no coming back. Once you disloyal, that's it, you're done. Ain't no coming back. That's it. I feel you. How, how, how's everything with the corona out there in Nairobi? They got y'all on lockdown and shit, too? Everything is okay. Everything is good, man. All right, y'all not on quarantine and all that? We back with that, man? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The kids here. You got the kids? What's up, little... What's up, little man? Oh, oh. Wait, you got two little twins? Damn, you got all the kids. No, no. Yeah. You got, like, three girls. You ain't get a boy yet. You better keep going. Oh, wait, all right, all right. You got one. You got four kids. Yo, how many you got? What's up, boy? You good? Yeah. All right, my boy. Salute. Appreciate you. Hold up. Yo, you know Friday the tape coming, right? Friday, Friday, all right, no doubt. You already know. He checking in from Nairobi. Shit, boy. That's what I'm saying, man. I got a, I got a, um, I got a regional sound with a global appeal, baby. So I have. You feel me? Tara love me. What's up, Tari? DJ Backspin, my boy. What's up, Backspin? Oh, we talking about Backspin? I know you got the new joints. We need to answer the question. We need the people to answer the question, man. I want to just stop it, but I feel like just taking two more. How many more questions should we take, bro? I mean, how many more answers should we get to this about? Two, three more? All right, fuck it. For a lot of Dale on the tap in. I'll see you. Where y'all from? Where y'all from? Let me know where you from. 585 in the building. Where y'all from? I'm going to tap into two more people. Hey, it's Mo Shady. What's up, my boy? Young Flacco, what up? They praying on my damn fall. Better get yourself some knee pads. Oh, I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait for this person. It's taking too long. Still praying on my damn fall, but they can't hold me. But they can't hold me. Okay. Raleigh Crowder, I see you. Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm tapping in with you, Raleigh, right now. Answer the question. Answer the question. Brooklyn, Albany, what's up? Albany Avenue. Okay, that's around. That's in my hood. Raleigh, what's good, my boy? What's up? What's up? You know God is great in the paper straight. You on a facto show with Troy Avenue. Talk to me. You, you, see the, you see the question? That's the question we asking the people real quick. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, how you uh, feel? You know. What you mean? Like, how you feel? Somebody's, like, it's, if they fall through hard times, you don't have no sympathy or empathy for them? If they motherfucking uh, mama die, or if they, if they end up going to jail or something, it's just fuck them still? Yeah, it's fuck them. My nigga. Niggas <laughs> is ruthless. Niggas is ruthless out here, man. And it's nothing wrong with being ruthless to your enemies. You should, I got no compassion for no ops. I got no compassion, sympathy for my enemy. That's it. Because I'm such a good person that you should never cross me. That's how right. I feel. Right, right, right. Hey, man, I'll, I'll be tuning in, man, for real, you know? Thank you, my boy. Your, Thank you. I got mixtapes and shit. Appreciate you, man. You know, I don't know what they talking about, that snitch and shit, but... You know, you know how that go. They put, listen, man. They post to try to tear you down. When you a real one, they post to tear you down because it's a majority of fakes. Niggas hate what they ain't. Niggas hate that. It's just the opposite of shit. You know what I'm saying? They hate it on Jesus. They post to do that, nigga. That's their job. But at the end of the day, the real gonna rise always. You feel me? Hey, that that's on down for that. That shit. A lot of people should relate to that. You know what I'm saying? It's a fact. Niggas praying on my downfall. <laughs> They better get some knee pads, though, because they're going to be there for a while. You heard? Yeah. Because I can't be stopped at all. <laughs> my nigga, my nigga. Yeah, we tuning in, though. All right, my boy. Make sure you get the new shit Friday. It's on TroyApp.com. Fuck with me. Oh, yeah, facts. Right now, I'm tuning in. All right, 100. Shout out to Raleigh. Crowd on and check in. The real going to rose always. Beauty and brains. You can't even spell, girl. It's Rose. She spelled rose. All right. All right, let's take one more. Let's take one more, then we up out of here. Be fucking with the people. 
Who should we tag in real quick? A songwriting session. We supposed to get a songwriting session, Troy Ave. Nigga, why the fuck would I do any songwriting sessions? I, I look like one of these niggas that don't write their own shit. Nigga, go to sleep. You bugging. Come on, fam. We going on with fam. And them, stop this nigga. We get a song right. Fuck we gonna do. We gonna be two men sitting in a room writing a song together. Are you fucking kidding me? You out of your mind, fam. The fuck I look like? I only want to be in a room sitting. Nigga, I be in the studio. I don't even write, my nigga. I do my shit off the top. I'm gonna sit with a nigga and bounce back ideas. Y'all yeah, hate that shit. This I hate when you let a nigga in the studio and you going over some shit and they, they be like, oh, oh, what you working on? The fuck you mean when I'm like, what are you even doing here? You lucky you here? Don't ask no questions. You like a kid that's up at, late at night. Nigga, you just need to shut the fuck up and watch whatever show is on. Don't be making no noise. You chill out, nigga. That's it. That's a fact. When I was a kid and I used to get stay up later than my bedtime, I'd be like a fucking mannequin. I had the mannequin challenge before it was a mannequin challenge. You just stay still. Don't ask for shit. Just enjoy this time awake and watching TV. That's a fact. I don't do writing sessions. I write all my own shit by myself. Period. Now you say you play a guitar. Don't try to backtrack now, nigga. We know you was talking about a real writing session. We gonna bounce ideas. I'm not bouncing shit. I'm not these rapidy ass rapper rappers that wanna be in a studio for mad hours and I'm in and out like a bank robbery, you heard? That's a fact though. Alright, come on. On um, the back end, I see you. Oh, I don't know. The back end club, that sounds a little sus. I'm not fucking with the back end. That's a pause. The back end club. Pause. Cause I was going I was gonna tap you in, my boy, but it's called the back end club. That's a whole pause. Like fuck going. I might tap in with you and you might have your dick out. I don't know what's going on over there. The back end club. And you might be bent over or the back. What the fuck going on? <laughs> you feel me? J Cash, what up? The back end club. Don't tell me you talking about, oh, I mean back ends of money. Uh, should have worded it differently. Cause that shit looks crazy. Yeah, you got to change that, bro. The back end club. That's not even his name. That's the, the shit inside of it. Like the, the back end club. Fuck is you talking about, fam? We pick up back ends. What it do, man? What's up, my boy? You in the dark, though. Yeah, pause. You in the dark. I can't even see you, man. Come on. My camera, my camera don't work, man. What? <laughs> All right, you know what? All right, fuck it. We, you, we just gonna go with the voice for now, man. You know what? Fuck it. We gonna make an exception. Wait, let me see what the people say. Should we make an exception, y'all? Or should it be, if you ain't got no lights, we cannot fuck with you or your opinion? I need a thumbs up if we gonna talk to my man or a thumbs down if we not talk to my man, Mike Lowry. Y'all fuck with Mike Lowry. Yeah, I'm from the mule, man. 414, man. 414? What, what, what area code is that? That's Wisconsin. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I fuck with Racine County heavy. All right, come on. You tapped in. So look, my boy, the question. Look, first of all, Friday, we dropping that um, Troy Ave Volume 1. I need you to go to TroyAve.com and get that. You heard? Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Fact, though. All right. Well, here go the question, bro. If somebody was disloyal to you, right, and then all of a sudden they go through hard times, they fucking fell off a scaffold, broke their neck, they motherfucking, uh, uh, they girl had a miscarriage, they motherfucking, uh, they got thrown in jail for some shit they didn't do, but nigga, anything, they fuck, you know what I'm saying? Anything happened. Do now they go through hard times? Do you, should you give a fuck about them going through hard times? Just me personally, man. I'm just like a... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You shit got spooky. It said, me personally, then the circle started spinning. All right. It's just like, Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold, 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 hold on, my boy, hold on. It said, the last thing we heard was me personally, I'm just like a... And go ahead from there. Uh, I was saying, like, me personally, it's just like... I'm, a, you know, I'm just like a real dude, you know. It's just like, uh, I look past all that, so you know, it's just like me going through all this and all that. You know, I'm just looking past 
did in every situation. But at the same time, it's like, I can't mess with you, my man. So I don't give, gave you the same answer. You gave me like two different answers. You hedging your bets. Do you look past it and you fuck with them or you just don't give a fuck and you don't fuck with them? Yeah, I just can't mess with you, man. I just can't can't even deal with you. 100. Can't even hang. <laughs> 100. Okay, okay. All right, my boy. Appreciate you checking in. You heard? Yeah, yeah. 100. Oh, we got to check with my man, Too Stiggish. My man, Too Stiggish. Too Stiggish was, um, as a matter of fact, y'all, we going to come back tomorrow night. And then we going to fuck around. We want to send some more bread. Because remember, we had sent that bread down to my man right here. And the nigga fed the, the, nigga fed the whole town. You know what I'm saying? Nigga went boy food like a real one. And fed the whole town. We got the videos and all that. Stiggish, what's up, my boy? Yeah, I'm cool, bro. Cool, bro. Where you at? Where you from? Talk to the people. You on the Facto Show with Choi Ave. You live. Where you from? Yeah, I'm from Nigeria. Well, I'm honey. You up early? It's raining outside or sound mad loud? No, it's not raining. It's just, um, it's, um, it's a fun. It's just really, I put it off right now. Okay. All right, so look, here go the question, my boy. It's, um, yeah. you see the question? Yes, 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 boss. I see it. How you feel about that? Like, um, I didn't do something. I didn't do nothing for, and I go for jail. You know, um, I, I would say it's, um, it's like, um, two different ways. Like, if I want to let go, like, I will let go. Maybe I just want to forget it. I just want to move on. But if it's something like that really took my time, waste my time, and I didn't do anything, but I won't feel happy. Even though if I see the person that that that, that make me go to jail, I don't know. I don't know. No, 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 no. Hold on, Sticky, hold on. No, we saying that if somebody was disloyal to you, like you had a friend and they fucking okay. stole, they stole some money from you or whatever, or they yeah. fucking try to have sex with your girl or... Or they set you up and robbed you, whatever. And now they was a good friend. They was close to you. You was close with them. And then that happened. Now, all of a sudden, the shit flipped. And they going through hard times. You know what I'm saying? They fucking, uh, uh, I, I don't know, somebody, they, they fucking leg got caught in the train. They lost their leg. Or, or fucking they got cancer or, or anything. Do you, do you give a fuck about what happens to them once they was disloyal to you? Yeah. <laughs> I give it fuck, but sometimes let me let me say something. If I have a friend that a friend that snitch or or a friend sleep with my girl, do you know what? I won't blame my friend. Ask me why. Why? I will blame my girl. I will, I will blame my girl because let me tell you something. A woman, a woman will go, but your friend will still remain your friend no matter what. You understand? Right. And niggas will always be niggas, but mm-hmm. woman will go. Mm-hmm. So I won't blame my friend because if my if my woman doesn't bring herself down for my guy to sleep, you understand? Yeah. So I would rather blame my woman. By the way, I will see like like my friend, if I have hundred percent trust for him, you understand? Yeah. I will reduce it to like um maybe like fifty percent or forty percent because I will look he's a fucking nigger. Right. But, <laughs> but I will I would rather put the blame on my on my on my woman because woman will always go and your friend will still remain the same. You understand? No I, matter what. Yeah, yeah. I know go. what you're saying. I feel, yo, yeah, my boy. I think, I think if your if your home if your woman throw him the pussy, then it's different. But I feel like a real friend should never try to fuck. Or, or have sex yeah, with yeah. any of his friend's girls. Any, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. just off limits. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. But, you know, that's some friends. That's like, me yeah, Meek Mill. That's some friends. <laughs> they're not just meant to be your friend. They're, they're some friends. They're just meant to be your friend. Like, just... They said how we get the old Meek Mill back. <laughs> Being stupid. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, you know? Yeah. But let me tell you something. In life, in life, Ed is different. Like, destiny is different. Some people will just be there jealous in you. They don't know <laughs> what you're going through. It's beefing you. So for life. All those one person. Rather, Stick is you, it. 
looking for a downfall, how the person will go to jail, stuff like that. Fact though, my boy. Yo, I appreciate you on the check in, my boy. Let's tap in later on. That's my boy Stig is Nigerian in the building. Man, I be I be want to get off, but I keep on fucking with the people, man. I just got too much love for the people. What's wrong with me, man? Why I got so much love for the people, man? Okay, Rummy, I see you, Rummy. Rummy, I see you. You up next. Rummy the last. When I bought the Rolls Royce, they thought, yo, he's stupid. Black gloves, you got to stop. <laughs> yo, they said my man's tickets look like Meek Mill, the old Meek Mill. Yo, hey, stupid. We can't see you, girl. You in the motherfucking dark. You know how we man, feel about people that in the dark. Make another one because I don't want to get in the mic. We don't know who we, we don't know what you look like, man. Once, I look just like my damn profile we, picture. Just see, when I watch fucking face. Once we don't, up. Damn. Ooh, look at that face, boy. <laughs> look at that <laughs> face. Looking right, like to join the truth in this motherfucker. Yeah, fuck. Look like you done fucking escaped from a motherfucker. Look at that face, boy. Look at that face. <laughs> Look like you on a fucking 1832 wanted side and fucking <laughs> Yo uh, Yeah niggas ain't shit for life. That's your real hair? That's your real hair? That's your real hair or no? Nah? Uh you got an Afro pick too? Oh my gosh. Type of black fist in the Olympics shit you got going on. <laughs> bell bottom pant face. She got a bell bottom pant. She got a fucking uh, TV one unsung face. What the fuck going on, girl? Oh, man. We got. Look at that shit, man. She picking that shit, man. Unsung. <laughs> oh, man. Let me go around in circles. Say, go around in every fuzzy. Say, we go around in circles. <laughs> then we go around and say, I'm going to be with me. No, What's another man, song? Oh, shit. Yo, wait, I got to fuck with you, man. You got, oh, I got so many songs for that here, dude. Oh, man. When a man loves a woman. No, my, song, my, song, look, my song is everything. It's everything. What is meant to be with me. I don't know that song. You gotta, you definitely gotta, um, oh, oh man, staying alive. I can't, I can't, I've been drinking, I've been drinking, I ain't got my shit, man. All right, T Kaepernick, what's up with that afro, man? Man, I'm just embracing this natural beauty. I feel you. I feel you. Do your shit, that's your real hair. Fuck that, that's your real shit. Okay, she got that motherfucking pick in the middle. Do that pick got a black fist on it at the end? Okay. One for all. Brand Nubian. One is one for all. You got a you got a diggable planets type of vibe going on with the hair. Straight up. Man, um, I heard you talk about your music and downloaded it. Yes. Because I've been listening to it and it's dope. Yeah, you know, Friday we dropping some new shit. We drop some Friday we dropping some new shit. So I need you to go get it now. Pre order Troyav.com. Okay. But don't try to throw me off. We talking about that hair. No, Okay. See, like, you trying to throw me off the shit. I was I just good. Shot, like, my first song ever. I'm still, like, ever? doing my research and learning about the music business and trying to do something with myself and tell my story and help other people. How you drop your first song? I've been, I've been heard y'all shit. You, I, very difficult. You sure? Yes. Didn't you make, um, on the midnight train in Georgia? <laughs> on the midnight train. That wasn't you? Oh, my God. Bro. I thought that was you. Bro, man. You got me dying. All right. I got a problem, bro. You can wait for me to put on No, bra. no, no. Come on. Answer the question. You don't need a bra, girl. So, come on. We in quarantine. Don't worry about it. So. I need a bra. I don't like, like walking around without a bra. It's all right. Like this is. <laughs> Look, the question is, if somebody was disloyal to you, right? And then they go right, through some hard. You know the question. Just come on. Answer it. Let us know. Okay. I wouldn't give a fuck. Mm. I wouldn't care. That's why I fuck with like, my people. Like Y'all cold like me. Yeah, it, it depends on the situation, though. Yeah. I never wish harm on nobody, but it's like your first, your first, first chance is your last. Mm. Up, that's it. Mm. Like I'm going through that now with my child's father. Mm. Oh, he did he some bullshit. Prison. Oh, he. Yeah, he in prison for dumb shit. 
How old, how old was how old was he when it, it was when, like twenty? It was like twenty seven, twenty six, something like that. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Yeah, he he knew he 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 knew what the fuck he was doing. You know what I'm saying? That's that's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, go ahead. So he, you thought you was gonna start a family, or like that's what he was pumping, or that's what you wanted? That's what I wanted, and that's what he was pumping too. But he was pumping fake. <laughs> fact though, fact though, obviously. Uh, yeah. But it's all good. T.I. Money's here. Too. Because now, now shit flip around and now he, do he like be calling you from jail trying to... Yeah, but he always like talking he, shit. He like, bro, take me off, off the child support. I'm like, bro... Wait, how the fuck you got him with child support in jail, man? Because he told me to put you on child support. And his bitch said she was going to help me pay it. Yo, I'm done. I'm put on my hoodie. You're a ruthless. Yo. A, a piece of paper, Yo. Right? My daughter's born. Oh, I said, look, shit. you can either go on child support or you can sign this paper a grant to help me financially support our child because this shit, like, it's about to go left. Mm. And I need some security. Real shit. That was smart. That shit. So mm. I had to do what I had to do. Fuck that shit. Mm. So he not on jail right now for back child support, right? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> what the fuck? My child needs a backup plan. So, so if, I, if it wasn't him, I would have been rich. Okay. Mm. Mm. I would have been a millionaire. Now I'm doing this shit on my own. Fuck him. Sorry, it's, it's, it's better. It's better this way. It's better this way. Trust me, it's it, better yeah, this way. It does. It's, it does. Oh, that shit die. It works out. I appreciate your time. You funny as hell. No doubt. Hey yo, thank you for ta- Oh fuck. I hope that shit ain't die, die. I gotta throw the bro. Bye. All right, later. Hey yo, y'all. It's been real. This the fact though show. I'm dope boy Chuck. We been fucking with y'all. We up out of here. You heard? One hundred. Damn, bro! If that shit died, like for real, I'm gonna be the last one. The last one? Oh, it ain't died. I was about to, yo, I was about to say, was it recording? Yo, I was about to say, damn, like I hope it didn't die.